It's Opie and Anthony. Got a full house today, Opie and Anthony. Our second to last show for the year, I do believe, right? We got to do tomorrow, too? Yeah, of course. We have the pleasure of uh, coming in tomorrow and doing another uh, program. As this and, then, uh, and then we get to rest and regroup. What a year. <laughs> a little uh, vacation. What a effing year for us. That's all I'm going to say. What a year. Rich Voss in studio playing uh, the Tree Fort. Treehouse. Treehouse, New Year's Eve. Eve. Tree Fort. <laughs> Someone's Tree Fort. He's just... And we got Nick DiPaolo in studio. Hey, Nick. How are you, Nick? Hey, how about a mic? Hear myself. There you go. No, we got it. We got it. We got it. Am I on? Yeah, yeah, I don't know which one is one yes. or two every I, I, single time. I'm not hearing myself, but that's all right. Who gives an F? <laughs> why, why would that be important? You're on the air. Your headphones uh, aren't plugged in properly or something. I don't know. But, uh, you know, Steve's like, well, I can't put you on. You know, I said, I'll get there real early, which I understand. I said, he said 740, and I'm like, uh, that's fine. I'm going to get there early just to beat the rush hour traffic. Yeah. But he's like, yeah, we have other guests. And I'm thinking, oh, there must be somebody famous promoting a movie or something. And I'm sitting in the green room listening to Voss. It's like, what the What is it, one comic at a time until I get Voss? in? We love Voss. I do, too. But, but I, I don't know. It, he's not 740, it's fucking... Whoa! 25 minutes after that. Yeah. I have to agree with Nick. I have to agree with him. About what? Would I have broke the chemistry if I came in five minutes early? I mean... Chemistry that is Voss. <laughs> yeah, we're having a good time with Voss. You're right, Nick. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it must be the holidays. <laughs> we had Voss scheduled, and we were doing our thing, and then we had you to the no, next. What's the big I deal, man? I don't know. Just oh, like good. I've been an hour. At least put me on on time. No. Well, we ended up doing the Rich Voss celebrity bit. Th things happen. What can I tell you? I know. How's your car, all right? My car's all right. I'm my ass up on the way in. All right. At least we kept you entertained while you're stuck <laughs> in traffic. That was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to be, Nick? Uh, Caroline's, January 1 through 4. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. New Day. <laughs> New Year's Day, Nick. Yeah. Well, you're right, Rich. <laughs> Plenty yeah, of parking. Yeah, That's exactly. Right. I'll, I'll, I'll rejuvenate. Huh? I'll rejuvenate. I'm a little. He was fried. trying to make a joke of that, by the way. Uh, Who? If you didn't notice, you I said, wasn't... I'll rejuvenate. You put the uh, emphasis on Jew. <laughs> no, and then when asked what, you said, I'll rejuvenate. Knowing Ross that you're, like... you're joke bombed. Yeah. <laughs> what? You look like you're 40 years old. It's amazing. I still Thank can't you. believe you had a drug problem. Major. Mm. Uh, yeah, but my insides like were all you. screwed up. Are they right? <laughs> yeah, just horrible. His insides. <laughs> yeah, just, it's just everything's falling apart inside. <laughs> it's horrible. What the hell, man? I feel like an old... What happened? An old Jew. I don't know. You look, but you look 10 years younger than you are. You're like 55, right? You're going to look 51. great with your head on a satin pillow. <laughs> People love to go, oh, look, yeah. you look so young. Can you give yourself a crash? On that All righty. <laughs> I don't think you should be crashed on that. that was a, Even that if it was, wasn't funny, line, it still implies you know. that you're dead and... <laughs> and picks us all up on some level. My career's been dead for three years, so my life is on the floor, oh, too. That's, not, that's ridiculous. There was a, uh, a story going really, really well. Story went by in the... Um, You're at the Tree Fort. What are you talking about? The tree, tree Fort. <laughs> <laughs> they should just change the name of the joint. Who cares? It sounds it, better than Tree You're going to take a secret oath to get in there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a stash of playboys up there to look at. <laughs> <laughs> no girls in the tree house. Tree <laughs> Fort. Uh, what were you, you saying at? I saw something on the ticker uh, uh, up there on the news about uh, Michael Jackson. Apparently, he's got some yes. potentially fatal lung disease. Let's keep our fingers crossed. What? Huh? Yeah. Is well, that just hidden? Yeah. It's, 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 uh, I didn't hear about that. Over breathing the in baby yeah. powder. According to, uh, <laughs> <laughs> according to one of his biographers, they say he has this uh, bad lung disease that's it's, got him internally bleeding into his intestines. Good. Maybe get some color in his face. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the same one that killed Barney Mac, the same disease? No, that was oh. sarcoidosis. Oh, sarcoidosis. That's, uh, that's, a different that's my eighth thing. grade math teacher. <laughs> Greek fag. <laughs> Can you say that? I think yeah, so. I guess you can. All right, where are we? We got off track here. Everyone all right? Nick, you all right? I'm fine. You got stuck in traffic and you didn't want to follow Voss, and, <laughs> no, and Voss I, agrees with you. What the hell happened no, here? We're just trying to do a radio show. All right. 
Now I'm, now I'm lost. Oh, we got nah. the we got the uh, the tree man guy. That's where we were going to go. Oh, the guy, guy with that stupid friggin' wow. feet and uh, hands. He's a disgusting thing. Yeah, there's some great videos up online of. Uh, Does he still got the feet and hands? I don't I know. They cleaned them up, didn't they? I thought they. Yeah, he gets pruned every them. six months. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's. Uh, how do you even describe this? It looks like he's got uh, just tree roots growing from his yeah. from his limbs, his hands yeah, and his feet. Like just huge, out of control. They're calling them warts. I don't know what the hell that is. It's from not no, washing. Those aren't warts. Dirty, I have warts. Person. Genital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's having your own tickler built in. Oh God. <laughs> 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 Does this tree guy have problems with the other parts of his body, or is it just his hands and feet? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah grabbing them. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume so, sure. Yeah, like it kind of goes up his arms. He's being consumed by a fungus, it looks like. It's really disgusting. Now, wait a minute. I saw the documentary, and they had, they got it down to like a small shrub. Now he's getting... <laughs> yeah. Well, that's... Uh, is it growing back? Well, that's why we got the update today. Uh -oh. We thought uh, we we heard the, uh, the last of uh, tree arm guy. He's back. He's back, yes. Easier for him to sneak up on tigers. Oh, what's that? Why don't you put headphones on so you can be with the radio show there, Rich? What? What was you? You had a line. No, forget it. Why? You stopped the whole show. No, what? There was audio playing when you said that, so nobody heard your line. Yeah. There was, it was, oh. there, was, there was the news story playing, and then you said that. Oh, because I didn't have my earphones on. Uh, exactly. That's so what did you say? I forget. His earphones. What? <laughs> We might have to do a, a, a take two. I thought it was fun. We might have to play commercials and come back. Take two. No, I said it's easier. We heard you. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> All right, here's... Uh, Ashton Kushner. <laughs> yeah, here's tree arm guy. Indonesia's wart-stricken man is finally undergoing treatment for his condition. Mm. But it's a long <laughs> process with no ultimate cure. Dede, also known as Tree Man, has been treated as a freak for most of his life she due is. to the gnarled growth sprouting from his hands and feet. Listen to her. Doctors what? have found a way to help his condition. <sighs> Surgery has already removed six kilograms. A way to help his condition, and they, they pan to him and he's got a shotgun in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working a stage on his back this New Year's Eve. Nothing on that one? Tree nah, house? I wanted to enjoy it, but... Hey, maybe did I, was it was uh, too long? Tree house. Tree man. Tree, oh, okay. Yeah, tree I get it now. It's quite a leap was, there, Rich. Yeah. yeah that's right. It's kind of a tree joke, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just it's asking. Just, yeah, it's a tree joke. All right. He's the new logo for the club, this guy. Moved <laughs> six kilograms of warts, but they started to grow back because of his low back. immunity. Dr. Rahmat Dinata is involved in his treatment. Involved. We told him that his disease could not be 100% cured. At the time, we only tried to increase his life's quality and help him lighten his anguish. Dede was abandoned by his wife and is unable to work because he can't use his hands. He's allergic to maples. <laughs> his wife abandoned him. <laughs> allergic to redwood. He is just... I'm leaving you for a man who doesn't have a tree growing from every limb. <laughs> Would you leave Bonnie if this happened to her? If she gets one wart on her face, I'm gone. And I'm not going anywhere. He joined a freak show to earn some cash. He's desperate for life to return. And they to said, normal. and they wanted to hand him cash, and they said, money doesn't grow on you. <laughs> uh -huh. uh. Oh. He's desperate for life to return to normal. Doctors estimate that he'll need to have surgery at least twice a year to remove and reduce the warts. Yeah, it's like pruning. Can't you, just, yeah. can't you just do it yourself? Yeah, you'd probably learn how to do that yourself. Yeah, after a while, you're like, yeah, you know what, I'm not paying grater. the bills. Whatever it takes. Yeah, just shave it down. I love how, sorry, I'm so distracted by the governor of New York in um, Iraq. <laughs> They're just showing him there. He thinks he's in Montreal. <laughs> yeah, I, I would so say, yeah, it, uh, let's go to the mess hall and point him right toward the minefield. <laughs> just, <laughs> take bets. <laughs> or, or, or play, let's leave the plunger in the latrine. <laughs> Fly him into Fallujah. <laughs> tell him, tell him it's the base. <laughs> he's, got a, he's, he's got an Allah sucks T-shirt. on. He's <laughs> 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 be the only guy to be heading video, not looking into the camera. He's staring off beyond. 
You're ruining the video. You don't even have to blindfold them. Yeah, why do blind people travel anywhere? Like, why would you do that? I don't know. You could just, you know, talk yeah. to them by phone. You're right. I know. He might as well be in his living room. He might as well be anywhere. Let's see the sights. What Mark Wiener says. Yeah. Hear the sounds. He goes with a tape recorder and plays it for people. And this is what I heard when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see his pictures from the trip. <laughs> it's like three shoes of pictures of his feet. Yeah. <laughs> Doorknob. A cloud. <laughs> Picture of a sink. A cloud. <laughs> Look, and here's 30 with the lens cap on. <laughs> if I wasn't a blind fruit bat, this would have been a photo of a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, or, or for two weeks he was taking photos with binoculars. <laughs> and they look good, Governor. Keep it up. Doing a great job. Great job. <laughs> Wonderful. Just sign this. No, no, no. Here. Here. <laughs> Jesus. He doesn't like the blind jokes, though, we learned. Yeah. He says he could take a joke, but... Well, then put he didn't like what SNL did with put him. Put sunglasses on. Yeah. Really? Look God's at God's sake. Where's he looking? And we what? ran out of racial jokes, so what's next? What? Nothing. Tree Fort. Tree Fort. <laughs> the tree, the tree, tree Fort. Fort. Tree Fort New Year's Eve. The Tree Fort. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> this picture of us climbing up a rope to get to his, to his gig. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, my aching oh. stem. All right, so they got uh, footage of the blind governor in Iraq. And yeah. somebody's uh, ex also over yes, there. Yes, huh? look at that. Oh, is that, that I a, thought so. Wow. Yeah, look at that, Ann. They went and shipped Jill over there, huh? Mm hmm. Have is fun. that Jill? Have fun. <laughs> That's Jill. Why is she wearing a coat? Is it really? Maybe it's a flak jacket. It is a flak jacket. Oh, it She's is? wearing a flak jacket. I heard Anthony was in the area. <laughs> a flak, <laughs> <Yeah>. a flak <laughs> jacket. <laughs> How appropriate they sent her to Iraq. <laughs> Elbow to the ribs. I dash R A C K. Okay, I. <laughs> you didn't get it? Not at first. Oh, all right. That is good. <laughs> well, I thought that just bombed, and I was going to make it no, bomb further. All that's right. very good. Oof. Yeah, that's good. Who's this guy? That, that, that that's interviewing? Marvin Scott. That's that oh. English stand-up, isn't it? What's that's that name? comic's father. Steve Scott. Yeah. yeah. Are, what? Oh, wow. Really? We know his his dad. Yeah, Steve yeah. is a comedian. Yeah, Marvin Scott's been around forever. Yeah. They, they send her there just in case some of the uniforms get contaminated. She's a knows how to burn them. Oh. <laughs> put, oh. them a, put them in a ah. ditch. Oh. Put some gasoline on them. Oh. <laughs> I like the fact that, that Marv Scott has his sleeves rolled up like the uh, like the like the guy who brought the Playboy bunnies in Apocalypse Now. <laughs> He's really bothering me. Uh, That's how they should have brought her in, <laughs> like that. She could have done a little dance on the cowboy outfit. <laughs> oh, it's great. That was really good. Yeah. Speaking of the news, we got uh, this really strange clip from um, Steve Bartlestein. Steve Bartlestein used to be our favorite news guy. Yeah, listen to this. For John Rhodes, his wait seems like an eternity. After traveling through a maze of canceled and delayed flights from Louisiana to Chicago to New York, he missed his final flight to see his girlfriend in Toronto. I'm doing the best I can with my family and the woman I love to try and get me a bus out of here. It's really no one's to blame. But that's, but that's life, and we'll get through it, and we'll be together soon, and that's all that matters. Who was that? Well, that's the setup. Uh, the guy... Uh, Took a bunch of flights to try to see his girlfriend. Last flight, I don't know, he couldn't get on it for whatever reason, and now he's at the airport stuck crying. Was he oh. crying? So then they... uh a little whiny at yeah. least. Yeah. And then they go back to the studio, and this is where we get uh, Steve Borlstein. I'm sorry. He's just trying to make his way. Come on, man up. He's going to make it home. His girlfriend's probably not as upset as he is. People in the northern suburbs digging out this morning. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him, though. He's right. Man up. He's like, yeah. man up. Yeah, he really exactly. got up. Hey, you wimp. Jesus. You can't be the guy crying on TV. How about that? No. Uh, a girl. <laughs> Certainly wouldn't be Voss. No. Yeah. I come be, trying to make it to a gig. I'd be crying if I had to go. <laughs> if lights on time, you're yeah, no. your eyes up. <laughs> go, go to Canada? What's wrong with you? Why are you crying, sir? We're landing 20 minutes early. <laughs> 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 Your boss isn't going to go to uh, Canada for Christmas. He's, uh, no, he's spending it with his other, his first family. His first family. Yeah. My older daughter. It was okay. We I could talk back. Yeah, but we were with you when you said that you had to stay home to do a gig, but then we learned that you'll be spending Christmas with your ex-wife and your daughters. Yeah. That is weird. 
It's not weird. Plus, my daughter got games. I want to go to her games, you know. How does her husband feel about you being around, though? That would weird me Who out. Who cares yeah. about that? I, that would be... That, I mean, well, I have, I'm going to be around forever. What? I got kids with her. Yeah, what? but it doesn't matter. You got kids with somebody. It doesn't mean, like, you go over there and start chum-chumming with your ex-wife. Why can't you? Why? Why? What, because society says you got to be enemies with your ex-wife? Society! No, well, I'm just curious. Like a very black Christmas. Wait, you guys hang around the same house, <laughs> yes. opening gifts and stuff. You and the uh... no, me and my ex-wife lay in bed. We open ours in the bed, and reminisce. Yeah, we yeah. sit around. No, the it's house. a little weird. That's all. So you <laughs> hang out with her and her new husband. I try. Hopefully, he won't be there. But yeah, where would I hang he out be? With her. He's it's gonna be his exes. Yeah, no. it's, it's Christmas. He yeah, he's hang out with, be with his you, family. Would you uh, remarry your ex if you could? No, no, I'm no. What are you kidding? You're like a bad <laughs> holiday movie. You're like one of those bad holiday movies that right, come out yeah. every year. Meet the twelve parents. <laughs> yeah. So you you get. Are you taking your girl to see Santa on Christmas? What? Yes, that's what I'm. Is your girl going to sit on Santa's lap at the mall for Christmas, Anthony? <laughs> Dress like Santa. But that's a okay. fair question. I'm just wondering, is the guy mine? What are you getting for your girl right. for Christmas? A new tattoo? All right, <laughs> shut up. I know. Oh, Rich is fighting back. This, <laughs> this is my favorite part of the show. Hey, when, when he's had enough and he starts fighting hey, back, I like this. Before you insult Anthony's nice girlfriend, I'm just curious. How is it's weird. Her, her husband mine? I'm not saying yeah. you shouldn't go. I'm just wondering yeah. if he minds. I, I've never sat and had a talk with him because I don't care. All right, I have kids. I moved two miles from my ex-wife to be by my kids. I'm, it's not my fault they live in our house. We understand so you're a good father. Wait, wait that, we understand but... you're a good father. He's, he's, he's bringing up a good curious. point. Like this is your your ex-wife and yeah. and her well, new don't... husband, and you're at their house for Christmas. Uh, yeah, but that's I'm gonna be a, weird. I'm not sitting around going, honey. Remember how we used to bang? I don't talk. But like, that, yeah. but that's all like, like when when my yeah. ex. <laughs> but that's what, what uh, Jimmy's saying. That's all like. The I, husband, I, the ex-husband, or the husband is thinking that. Yeah, this, exactly. It's like uncomfortable. You're and, making his Christmas uncomfortable. Yeah, it's all in the air. Everyone yeah. understands, like, everyone's relationship yeah. in the room, and that's why Jimmy's question yeah. is very good. It's got to be when, strange. You when, banged her at least twice. When my <laughs> Supposedly. When my daughter graduated, you know, they had a party, and my father's there, you know, my my father, me, Bonnie, and everybody, and her family, you know, it's... it's I think it's terrific they all get along. Why does it have to be such tension? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just it's, 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 hoping there's more tension. Yeah, because <laughs> I, re I really just can't imagine you and the new husband. Uh, it's locked like my finger. Hanging. <laughs> yeah. Wait, isn't it true your ex-wife also babysits your new kid? Sometimes she yells. That's so weird. Yeah, that, that's no. beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, and she she has a cleaning service. She used to do our house too. Your ex-wife cleaned your house. Not anymore. She quit. Why? why did she quit? Because I used to leave stuff around for her to see. No, she quit. But she. Why? To, why did she quit? She has too many other. That's not she, why she quit. She probably saw all the yeah. nice stuff yeah. you bought because Bonnie that you didn't buy her. Her Amway business was skyrocketing. <laughs> <laughs> did Bonnie go like all of a sudden? There's itching powder in my tampons. What's been going on? <laughs> she was probably sabotaging her stuff. How does he use tampons? Uh, well, it was it was a nice little joke. <laughs> Jesus, I just, can't what? you just go with the holiday spirit here? Yeah. The holiday spirit. <laughs> what did you even so, say? Nothing. Ah. What's wrong now? What? <laughs> what the hell? You just jumped up and said, ow. He's, and then he pulled on his uh, groin area. What's going on in your groin that you're saying, ow? When you don't wash, they start to stick to your legs. Oh, oh God. How about God. washing? Ugh. You don't wash the... Oh, I'm walking. Listen, I get along with my ex-wife. I get along with her husband. He he came... He, you know, sometimes... Because he's very mechanical, so he'll come over. He'll fix some of the stuff at my oh, house. Oh, that's whatever. good. You know, you have your your ex wife's new husband come over and do the stuff you can't do as a man. As a man, right? <laughs> look, as a man, look, I suck as a, as a man when it comes to that stuff. But I, you know, you hire somebody else. They Jenny. become indentured servants. <laughs> 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 right. over, my underwear was dirty, so her and her husband teamed up and washed it. Jesus, he gave it a good washing. <laughs> no, he's a good guy. He's really a nice guy. He's a good guy. <laughs> it's look. What does he do for a living? Cat system, huh? <laughs> what does he do for a living? Works for me. He, uh, no. computers. He's a computer guy. Oh. He's a good guy. He's a computers. nice guy. Computers. That's nice and vague. What, he works at Best Buy selling yeah, laptops? It could be anything. <laughs> Rich, you do understand that, like, you're, it's weird. Like, most people would never have a relationship with their ex like that. Well, you know what? To the point My where she's wife. babysitting your kid, uh, her new husband's coming over and fixing stuff that it's you can't fix. It's like Demi Cleaning Moore and Ash and Kushner. Yeah, and yeah. Bruce they, have that, <laughs> they have that type of relationship with uh, Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis. <laughs> Bruce Willis. <laughs> Man, did, 
Did Bruce Willis wreck that gene pool, by the way? Have you seen his daughters? No. no. Oh, my they look God. Like that's fine. Pretty much. They yeah, got the big, they, the big all, they all have the big Bruce Willis chin, and they're trying oh, to, yes. and they're trying to say that, you know, these girls are hot like their mom. It's like, no. 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 It's not right. Not One of them looks like Jay Leno. Look. Yeah, look at that head. It, it, oh, wow. If you cover up the chin and go just with the eyes, it's like, wow, that's a beautiful girl. Looks uh, a lot a like little, her mom. A little face put on a big head. She looks like Demi Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce wrecked it, man. I think they had three daughters, and they all look pretty much the same with these big They got Demi's, Demi's face beautiful eyes. on Bruce Willis's big head. Yeah. Yeah, look at that one. Which one? Oh, wow. Stop. What is that? What a disaster these kids are. With the just the really nice Demi Moore eyes, but... Yeah, and the rest of it. Poof. Yeah. Uh, All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, this is a good question coming in from Spiro for Rich Voss. Spiro, you're on the Opie and Anthony Show. Good morning. Rich, um, I'm wondering, how much do you enjoy prepping the new husband? Prepping? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you a cuck? Are you prepping the bowl, <laughs> cuckle? Yeah. Are you is that what you do around the tree? Are you going to kneel in service? Are you going to use your, are you going to use your mouth to service? Like I bet you that the ex-wife writes things, messages on Voss's face in lipstick. You know, place unit here. Oh. Uh huh. Uh, queer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Rich playing the the tree fort somewhere. The tree house stand on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Nick Apollo, January 1st through the 4th at Caroline's here in New York City. Quick break, and we'll uh, continue next. Opie and Anthony. I don't like that one. No! Please. What? Oh, that's one of Jimmy's faves. Comes out on stage this one, I know. Opie and Anthony, full house today. We got Nick Apollo, Caroline's, January 1st through the 4th. And then uh, Rich is playing the uh, tree... Tree house. Tree yeah, house. New Year's Eve. We New Year's also Eve. have... Uh, New Year's Eve. Yeah. yeah. We also have uh, Nick DiPaolo, Funny How. No CD. Uh, CD. Oh, really? Yeah, nickdip.com you can get. Just How many copies do you bring in? I don't know, like five. I got well, mine. I, want one. I am. They're in my uh, coat pocket. All right, good. I want to check that out. I'll give this a listen on the way home. Make my nice... Uh, yeah, we're a big fan nice of pleasant drive down the expressway yeah. home. Real good holiday pleasurable. material. You'll enjoy it. <laughs> we're a big fan of Nick. He's screaming at the audience. <laughs> good. He uh, was well on his way in in radio, and then uh, the rug was yanked from and now underneath the whole business him. Business is imploding. Yeah, oh, I know. Like, you, you know. Was, now it's just uh, unbelievable. The world right now. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? We're just trying to hang on. Shovel driveways, I guess. It's a bunch of Walking Dead in suits. That don't know when the axe is coming in oh to chop their heads God. off, so they're just trying to stay under the radar. So there's nothing new creatively happening. There's no, no one willing to take a chance because then the the boss will have to see the guy and go, "Oh, yeah. what's your name? Yeah. Hey, could you fire that guy?" You know, so really, so everyone's afraid to do anything except just try to hold on to their uh, their jobs. I saw Hollywood. There's, there hasn't been anything new creatively in years because in Hollywood, no doesn't get you fired. If they take a chance and say yes, they can get oh, fired. Oh, yeah, then, no, you know. Because they're just big, big. You know, uh, what do you call it? VH1 passed on the Osbournes because none of them have a vision. Yep. None of them have a vision, and they all try to do this. I just said it during break. ABC is going to do a talking head show during prime time. Okay? People are so sick of that band, too. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, 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 it's <laughs> hosted by, it's ridiculous. Hosted by what? Who's hosting it? Yeah, I have. It's a comic. I forget. It's some comic from Australia. Some, you know, they're bringing in some. I don't know. Some oh, comic no. from Australia. I, I never heard of him, but he's supposed he's the biggest act in Australia or something. You know, oh. biggest you know, act in Australia. Australia. Voss is wearing rabbit fur today, and uh, I said he looks like an old queen. <laughs> yeah, yeah he good. really does. Yeah, where did yeah. you get that at Bloomingdale's? Yeah, I got it from my boyfriend. At what store? At Bloomingdale's. My boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want to play. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll admit it. And we just started talking about how how sad old queens are. It's awful. Don't look at me when you say how sad old queen. I'm not an nah, old queen. Sad old nice queen. Coat. Okay. Yeah. What's wrong? It's a nice coat. His ex-wife's husband fixed the zipper on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. It's a uh -huh. That's how I. That's how I got a deal on it. The zipper was broken. Uh, yeah, I'm with I have a first sweat boss. jacket though. What's that? It's a sweat. You ever hood on that? Listen, did yeah, that come on a skateboard? Look at you. 
This is a fur coat. <laughs> all right, all right. That was pretty funny. That was <laughs> funny. All right. <laughs> Shut up. Jimmy's you're wearing not... a kiss shirt with flames on it. It's like a tribal. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking a bad tattoo. Shut up. Jimmy, you got some grays uh, coming uh, in in the back? Oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Next, I never, yeah. I never Those are moles that are just getting cancer. Wow. Distinguished from the back. I look like a gentleman. Yeah, I look like a gentleman from the back. Go ahead. You know who's Jackie? Shut up, stupid. You know whose jacket that is? The lady from um, a Midnight Cowboy. You were going to charge me for money? <laughs> for money? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Rich, why are you trying to be so stylish all the you're time? You're not stylish. What, what's going on in your head that you need to be stylish? Got to no, show people that you're a success or something? <laughs> Put the hood on for everybody. For years ago, hood, hood here's the hood hood 60 off. cents. I want you to have it. Years ago, <laughs> years ago I worked with a, a major headliner who years ago was uh, Rob Bartlett. Years ago, and he still is. And he said, dress for success. Well, when is he going to start right? dressing for success? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to have a tuxedo on at the tree fort? <laughs> No, no. Yeah. <laughs> top the, the, the last thing you should ever say is you got to dress like a million bucks to earn a million bucks, and then a bullet should just tear through your forehead. <laughs> Did you just grab your shirt or your breasts? What did you just grab? What do you mean? Oh, that, that was hurtful, Rich. I don't care what's wrong with you. I, know, I have okay. cancer. I have breasts. Yeah, yeah, you're sorry. Yeah. We're all I'm just sorry. trying to have fun. What's wrong with you? Cancer. What's the matter with you? It's that new the cancer. Hell? What did he do to uh, you, man? Yeah, could you put your hood up? Yeah, please. Your, the, we want to see in your... It's reversible, too. Is it? Oh, put it on the other way. Really? So what, you can be a pimp after noon? Yeah, because the inside is all rabbit fur. Yeah, you got to you gotta flip this thing. I oh, think it's reversible. Coat. All right, I'm... Uh, the zipper goes like that. How about on my... That's kind on of a like waste of rabbit fur. Of course it is. Like, oh, really? oh it, it doesn't go down the sleeve? Oh, my no, God. No, it makes I mean, it look... it's a waste of rabbit fur because Dude, it, it makes it look like a regular, like, hoodie. It makes it look like something a chick would wear. It is like, like, a chick would like wear. Like a rabbit what fur, like, like, vest. Don't wear it that way. And then no, the I sleeves like are, like, leather. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God. You look okay, like Anthony Sonny Marcy. Bono ready to sing with Cher back in 68. <laughs> That's funny. Exactly Let's hope you see like yeah, him, too. Sonny Sunny Bono. They say, I love Don't pay the rent. Yeah. Anthony feels like he's hunting now. No, I don't hunt, I shoot. A model of hood. Let's put the hood on, Rich. Please. Rich, let us yeah, see your rabbit for a hood. Yeah, now run across the sawmill at midnight wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh my God, what is Rich? Look at it, it's a Jewish deer. <laughs> yeah. Rich, Rich, don't move. I'm trying to take a picture over here. Yeah, over here, over here. Too much, over here, that? you dope. Turn that way. It's a Jewish deer, a half a buck. Yeah, half a buck. <laughs> <laughs> I was kicking that around. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, what is it? <laughs> I don't wear it out. It's a nice coat. It's warm. Can I see your coat? Yeah, but the rabbits were warm, too. No, no. You're going to burn it or do something. I'm There's not no gonna, need I want to wear try rabbit it on, fur. I would never do that because you spent a lot of money on it. Furry don't murder. <laughs> 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 There it goes in the garbage. <laughs> right in the garbage. Spiked it. <laughs> it was a two-point even... dunk. Oh, not two seconds. Opie spiked boss's jacket into the garbage oh, can. Into the trash. Right, that was right next to four year Oh, I couldn't even forget it. Look, oh, oh, I bet you it was a good one, too. Right, let's let's go ahead, try it again. No, okay. forget it. It's not going to work. Now you get ketchup on your fur. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, I threw my breakfast You got to bring one of those. What? What a lint! Br I know you're okay. shedding like crazy. Why don't you just have your wife do it for you? Ex-wife. Ah, uh, does that, that that coat husband. come with ticks? <laughs> 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 All right, I'm with Nick. He should have been uh, in here good. earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, well, I, I was. Uh, what I was were just we trying thinking? to get something going when I came, and it really didn't fly. What were we oh, thinking? That's great. All, all right. right. Guys, being an a-hole, but it's all good. Is that the only jacket you're wearing today? Yeah. It's cold, cold out. out, man. I drove here. I didn't walk. All right, but what about... No. We should have hopped. <laughs> <laughs> Sissy. Rich wanted to show off his new jacket. Off us. What about the walk we do out in the freezing cold? Yeah, yeah a block and a half. It's a block and a half. We're not crossing crossing the Northwest Passage. All I'm right, not Spencer Mr. Tracy. Uh, Northwest Passage. That's cold, a good reference. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, it's, really. it's single digits got that right. That well, not passing good. the equator. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you really are as dumb as they come. Where are we traveling to? Venus? Mercury? <laughs> good one. <laughs> uh, Unbelievable. Hate your murder jacket. You guys want to really? kill her? Since when you become an animal rights activist? You eat meat? Oh, animal rights, not animal rights. No, I'm not. I'm Jimmy not don't eat meat. Yeah, I do. do you? See, oh, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, you've never been <laughs> into that peep room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all you could do like with that setup? I know, I couldn't Come get it. That but peep room, you old lady? I would have said, I didn't I, know I, I, is now considered did, meat. <laughs> when did you become, like, so such a flaming liberal? 
I'm not that you don't eat, that you're animal right, animal rights activist. I eat meat. You vote for Barack. What I didn't happened vote. to you? I didn't vote. And if the Republicans would have put a better candidate, I would have. I would I have agree. I didn't like who they put up. I, I like McCain. Either. I just thought he was I too agree. old. Yeah. I, I wanted Obama. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not a flaming I liberal vote. at all. It's, oh, like, I, I don't like fur. I wear leather. I eat meat. I'm not 100 yeah. percent consistent. I just think fur is kind of stupid. Why? Because it's, it's such. Personally, I think it's such They're pomp cuter animals. pomposity, and they murder them. I've watched them. It, it, I don't like to see anything skinned alive. It just bugs me. Whatever. I'm not saying that. I'm I didn't watch the skinning. I just well, bought it. Don't go to the treehouse on New Year's Eve. I'm <laughs> 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 not Damn. flaming liberal at all. I know that, but it's you know you can't say. I I don't yes, I, I don't want I don't want someone to wear fur as I'm wearing leather. Yes, I can. Yeah, they're skinning cows alive to get the leather. No, they're not. Um, well, the, not di alive, the difference but... is one. I'm not saying that leather's right. I'm not what saying do they do, it's right. Ambient. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or volunteer. Take that off. Or we're going to take it from you. <laughs> take it off. <laughs> like this is a zipper right under the udder. <laughs> You know, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying it's 100% uh, consistent, but you know, it's just a, to me that's a little bit. That's just such a display of. Look what I... It's just stupid. Yeah, you're going too far. You know, rabbit, though, rabbit, they are abundant. I mean, yeah, you know, it's not all like... I'm not saying they're extinct. I hope rare, one of... kind of... I, so, uh, I hope one of our yeah, listeners throws Spanish, red, you know, red paint yeah. on you. That's a real nice thing. <laughs> they don't make send them jacket. up for you, idiot. <laughs> yeah, nice red paint all over all right. that. Yeah. Yeah. You say, don't well, say listeners. You just said, I hope our listeners... How much is... <laughs> okay. Oh, that hurts. That's hurtful. I can't really defend that one. Nice one here. Hey, Rich, how much does that jacket cost you? For real. How much did it cost or how much? How much? Oh, seven hundred. I got it for uh, like four something. All right, I'll give uh, five hundred dollars to the person that throws red paint on uh, versus <laughs> new jacket. Well, no, you jackass! You give me the five hundred. Nope. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You'll get nothing but a. Uh, you'll get nothing but a, 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 a link to a PETA video where you can see them bludgeoning these yeah. animals, and they're still blinking after their skin has been ripped off mm. in a pile. They don't really know. Right. No, that's true. Remember that. <laughs> 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 We are I just off my tour earlier. I did one earlier, too. I did one earlier. Not, we are not the one you guys heard, what you were talking about. Oh, really? I, I heard one? that one, too. Did you hear that one, too? Yeah, and I was like, I think he said that. I hope they caught it down the hall. But what we is have it in all here just today, been driving guys? the F-bomb today. We're ready to Hold split on. and take a break from this. It's oh, amazing. That's what it is. Jim and I dropped it. I hope you got it. I, I just I honestly slipped out. jivin has got to be on his... Uh, I hope he didn't get it. On his mark today. I don't that's when you know. <laughs> that's when you know there's good chemistry. You cook yeah, it. You know. It's yep. all good. I don't care. It's very natural. You just kind of, you know. It happens when you get yeah. more than five guys in a room. God forbid, <laughs> huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Stephen S. from Bayshore is calling you Bugs Dummy. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying that. Look, you wear what you want. I'm not, you know, I'm not knocking it. I just personally yeah, you don't want to dress like Genghis Khan. I mean, you do. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> kill cute little animals, go ahead. Exactly. Who are we to stop you? Yeah. <laughs> At least a cow. Who gives a crap about a dumb cow? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, a rabbit? How many rabbit feet did you have when you were a kid? None. None. Ever. Huh? Rabbit oh, I don't want rabbit feet. feet. That was for, like, you know. You know, a rabbit foot for good luck. Plus, back then, we didn't see the videos. You didn't know as much back then. You just had a rabbit foot. You thought they fell asleep, and they took the foot off because they died in their sleep. Uh, you, know, right. you know what it they is? They died in sleep with a purple foot? I, I'm not yeah. I'm not <laughs> willing to buy the whole uh, piece. Meat is murder! Oh, sorry. <laughs> wow, that cow is still alive. It's just dangling there. You know, of oh, course, there are horrible there. things that happen. I don't want to see the official PETA video. The I don't thing want to is, though, it's propaganda. I know this crap is going You're on. not seeing the other side that maybe, uh, you know. right. Is, 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 oh, wow. These are, a lot of these are, are uh, not even in this country. They, they, you're right, you're they, right. They do Absolutely it in Russia right. and stuff. Yeah, it's horrible. What are you going to do? They just showed you the dead rabbits. But, uh, they don't show you the cows that are spoiled. They have nice houses and two cars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, oh my God. That, that, was, that? that was, was an that? animal that's been skinned alive so some dummy can go back so a little bit. J-Lo can have a hat. And they have to skin it alive so it doesn't. They, they, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you how they kill it. So Hold it doesn't on. release. Like, oh, that's gross. What was it? They what grab is, it by what the, was it? It's, it's, it's probably a mink. They grab it by the feet. Look, they make. beat its head into the ground, and they cut around it while it's, it's unconscious or, or half-conscious. They skin it alive. They throw it into a pile. That's that's what they do. And, th and then half of them are still alive until they just die with no skin. It's got to sting. There's wow. no need for it. It's <laughs> barbaric. It stinks. Why well, don't they horrible. kill it? What, what's wrong with killing and them yet, first? All of that. Yeah, still had the nice eyelashes, yeah, I don't though. Yeah, they were yeah. Those, the, the, the animals become very cocky. First. This exactly. is the last thing. You he, know what? I have to agree with that. It's, it's, it's horrible. Thank God I got this on sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the poor little guy in the trap.
That's uh, got to hurt. Well, maybe, maybe his, his cousins will learn. People <laughs> should watch this, though. It's like, that's what it is. What? Oh, ah, the old yeah, clubbing okay. of the baby I seals are all Yeah, but the I seal is getting lippy. Gonna, they don't, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that one had a comedy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> the seal was talking during a movie. The baby that's seals what, are very flipping around the holidays. <laughs> that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open I'm gonna open a bar and call it baby seals. <laughs> And then what? People go, yeah, we're going clubbing at Baby Seals. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Wow. That, that's, not, that's, right. that's right. The tree fort, folks. The tree fort. <laughs> <laughs> paid $40 to have puns thrown at you. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, what, that's what's going to happen on stage. It is kind of oh, sad what they do. Look damn. at that. Bleeding it out. Oh, there's a lot of blood coming out of that cow. Why are we watching wow. this? Because we, we're trying to show Voss. How wrong it is to wear but you know what? That, that no. looks fake right there. You know there. what? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't real. <laughs> See, here's Animal the thing. Animal snuff films. No, here's fantastic. the thing. It's, it's no, you can't say it's either oh, you don't that? wear it or you do wear it. Because you can't wear leather or you can't eat veal. No, but you can it, say that. No, you can't okay. because either you're part of the problem or you're part of the solution. No, you, There's no, no I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not coming off. I'm, I'm not making a self talk. Yeah, really. yeah. I'm not making a self righteous claim. I'm only saying that like there's certain things to me that I feel are unnecessary. I'm not. Look, I eat meat. Uh, this I try not to wear leather jackets, but I do wear some leather. All right, fine. Oh okay. God, oh, that had to hurt. Go back again. No, man. But you're right. It's these third world countries that don't know how to. They do are it. the ones that do it. Idiots. Yeah. I think Wait you're mad because the guy. The, that's Why a lot. His little feet off while he's You know still what? He's a lot. The humans go. Because I need these I, feet. I think you're mad because you paid a lot of money last night and he wore a lambskin rubber. That's probably why you're mad. Ooh. That wasn't that bad. No, I'm just, for, for, no, I'm just mad that you implied I'd want someone to wear a condom. <laughs> that's why you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> what, what am I, all of a sudden a goody gumdrops? <laughs> <laughs> a goody gumdrops. Don't let that room get out. Exactly. My immune system can't stop it. It don't deserve to be stopped. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, man, that's what they do. It's, it's, it's terrible. Good. Yeah, we're going to take another break, a quick break, though, and then I we're going to come back, we're going to do a little more, and then we're going to go into the rock and roll for the New York Station. Yeah, a little rock and roll. What's the new slogan here, Stump Brain? That's why uh, we're rock lives here. Does it? We're alive. It also died here earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that. I don't work with this dump. Kiss my grits, you jerk off. <laughs> Put that in your pipe and smoke it, you stinky fags. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you say that? I don't, even, uh, I don't know the rules. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> who knows anymore? Who knows is right. All right, so uh, I, I have a gig I want to plug, if I could. Just uh, January 18th. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, that was smooth, okay, Jimmy. <laughs> well, I know. I think we're going to break. And uh, we, we've, we've talked to, to Nick, and we've talked to the murderer. So I want to uh, I want, hold on, Slaughterer. We'll plug you in a second. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a, a third short, The Borgata. It's uh, January 18th. Tickets are on sale now. And um, if you want to go, it's, January, it's Martin Luther King's birthday. Yeah. Weekend. So people are off that Monday. That's right. a big weekend. Yeah, it is. All right, we'll get we'll do the other plugs after the break. No, Nick's at uh, Caroline's. Caroline's party. January uh, 1st through 4th, and uh, funny how, new CD. Oh, the, that's com. Nice. Pick it up. New know, CD. Enjoy it. Three. And, <clears throat> and Rich, you'll be... Uh, Got to get out of here in a few minutes. So we can do real fast. Where's Vaughn? Vaughn. a raccoon up the street. <laughs> <laughs> Give his daughter a hat. Oh, he's got to bring in his 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 bag. Got the whole there? murdered animal collection. <laughs> Look at that bag, Nick. Man have you seen bag. this bag before? We've argued this bag with him for years. He, he thinks it's. I can't a, see. It's it's sold in the men's section of wherever, but it, it's a chick's bag. It's a girl's bag. It's a Louis Vuitton, ain't it? Yeah. It's a Louis Vuitton, but guys don't walk around with Louis Vuitton bags. That's a purse. You're, you're, you're wearing a big purse. And a rabbit skin All right, I'm going to come out of the closet. You don't need to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or has it been blown off? <laughs> we just want to know where this comes from. Why do you have to be so stylish? What are you hiding? Yeah. Sorry, maybe I should get a high water long john t-shirt like yours. Yeah. I don't care. Hey, little brother shirt. Look at you. Look like you're wearing <laughs> a little <laughs> tight. <laughs> going diving after this? <laughs> <It's a> little... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I put it on. <laughs> <laughs> if, if Opie... <laughs> I was trying to like... Uh... <laughs> I was I was trying for that not to hurt me, but I, I put it on the put it on this morning and realized it might be a little tired. Now I got to cover up no my rain. boobs. This is about you. If Opie wants to set the dryer for nuclear, there's nothing wrong with that. 
I can't argue. I, I felt the same thing. shirt on, like, Brittany. <laughs> right. I've been pulling it down all morning. Why? It's not Dude, working. Don't, don't let him bully you. You want to wear, like, a, a, a long John Dickey? You wear it. That's nobody's business. <laughs> you getting verbally abused by a guy with a purse? <laughs> I'm in trouble here. Skin hood. Why do I have to stand up? I've been sitting the whole time because I knew it was a little short. Body painting. No, go ahead, Brenda McCarroll. What were you saying? <laughs> Brenda McCarroll. Uh, Looks like this show is on. <laughs> Brenda McCarroll. Remember that? Yeah, where she just taking yeah. a deep Where was the mic in her lungs in that commercial? Yeah. <laughs> I have a heavy day. I'm bleeding like a rat. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring this shirt in uh, for the staff tomorrow. I give them all my hand-me-downs. Brenda, iron lungs of a car. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some uh, p p pictures to show. You want to do this real fast or a yeah. couple of them? Yeah, all right. Go ahead. We're going to end uh, today with uh, some more Name the Celebrity with Rich Voss. I'm not going to get any wrong this time because I don't know. All right. These are news crap. figures. You're probably yeah, all these guys are in the news, okay? I'm going to show uh, the boys this one, uh, the giant that got in a lot of trouble. Recently. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Oh, Plaxico Verus. Barris. What was his name? Plaxico. That's you, the job. That's, that's the bit. See, the whole game oh. is for you to come up with the name, oh, yeah. not us to <laughs> tell you. Convict. <laughs> uh, Plaxico Varus, you're right. All right, Plaxico Varus. You got the first one. I don't care. I don't All right, that's very good. Like Plaxico Theron. We were just making fun of If you don't get this one, this is a, this is a, the goof. We're just throwing this in for fun. It's our blind uh, governor here in New York State. Oh, my God. Stop. I live in, I live in Jersey. <laughs> oh, okay. You don't know the so name of our that. governor? First of all, you grew up in the town. Here's a hint for you, you dink. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know our, the governor of New York, the blind governor? You don't know his name? Uh, DP. <laughs> Don Pardo. <laughs> Double <laughs> Dolly Parton. No, it's, it's, it's a David. David. I, I, it's a, Nick gave you the best hint ever. I grew up in David Plainfield. I grew up in Plainfield. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, oh, right. the other neighborhood that you spent time it's, with, it, and you got hooked on crack. Oh, it? oh. It's what you did when you saw uh, a, a lady with a cute son. <laughs> <laughs> David Bang. <laughs> nice. David, <laughs> her son. <laughs> All right, this is the, this scary guy. This guy gives me the willies. Yeah, he is really uh, The governor of Illinois is in a Who's lot of trouble. Yes. Yeah. What's his you name? You get John this Davis. right, and I'll buy your rabbit boots. <laughs> <laughs> you get this right, I'll pay your mortgage for a year. <laughs> I'll, I'll give, give you the money shot. to get the first name right. Jimmy, give me a hint. R.L. is the initial. That's right. A lot of trouble. What is uh, he knows up on, uh, who's, who's up on, uh, for, uh, what do you call it, who's facing 25 years? Oh. Ed Rodriguez. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Twenty-five. Uh, For what? Some, uh, stock scam yeah, with uh, stock stuff. National Lampoon. That's good. Do I know? Uh, Yikes! It's, uh, I just did radio for ten people out there. That's brilliant. Go ahead. Uh, I don't know his name. Rob. Ro oh, Rob. 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 Rod. 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 Oh, Rod. 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 No huh? problem. Go You're going to pay my mortgage? If you get this name, write it down. $20 on a shirt. If, if you get this name, you, you got a lot oh, of witnesses. Oh, Bovovich. What? Oh. Bovovich. Something Bovovich? Like Bojovich. Bojovich. Yes! Bojovich. You got Bojovich. <laughs> Bojovich. <laughs> no, no, write it down. Don't phonetically spell it. Write it down. Let Rich read it. So, All right, listen. Oh, wow, I was way off. I said All right, now. look. I'll even show you his name. But uh, now the mortgage thing is done. Sorry. Because yeah. now there's too many hands. How about... How about breakfast? All right, I'll give you breakfast. Right after the show, I'll buy you breakfast. <laughs> Mike, you ready? Oh. I'm showing him the name, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's a strange one, man. He is a... Bl the worst hair Blagojevich. ever. Blagojevich. What? Where'd you get the G from? Just a... Did he get it? Blago. Yeah. I, I have no idea. All right, good. Can you say it? Yeah. What is it? I'm not telling you. Oh, really? All right. Let, now we're going with this guy. Oh. It's not Castro, but he was a... Uh, uh... Johnny Depp. <laughs> no, it's not Castro. No. That That's great. And you have six billion more guesses. <laughs> <laughs> What's his first name? I'll, I'll t I got this. Shay. The Revolutionary. I know. What's his first name? Shay. That's not his first name, The Revolutionary. Kevin. Uh, <laughs> I'm just... I'm... I'm, I'm 
What I'm doing is trying to help the audience along so they, America, so they can understand. Yeah. His name is Shea. 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 Oh, Chavez. His last name is Stadium. Chavez. <laughs> Chavez. Shea what? Chavez. Shea Chavez. I'll give you a hint. He's a strong middle from New Jersey. <laughs> uh, be at the tree Delana. Hut. The tree hut on the... Shea... The answer? Paris. <laughs> He, he already messed it up. Stadium? No. Oh, that was already said. Was already Who said, said that? Listen to the replay. Oh, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. Oh, I love when that happens. Oh, do I love it. Oh, boy. Shay what? Stadium? I don't know. No, no, no. Chavez. Chavez. Oh, you said Chavez? Yes. Yeah, Good. You're wrong again. <laughs> what is it? Let's take it here. Oh. All right. We have uh, calls, brother. We have... Uh, oh. Hero. We got... Uh, He's a murderer. The Russian yes. dude. You know what? You know what? Stu Caymans. The Russian dude. No, no. Is he the president officially, right? I don't think he's uh, he now. What is he now? And now he's uh, just I kind of going to be head of the Communist Party when yeah. he makes Marionette. his big comeback. I have no idea. VP or his initials? VP. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir, Vladimir Putin. Okay. Putin. All right. Was that right? Yes. Pretty close. Is that, does that pay my electric this bill? One, no. This one you should get. He, uh, you know. Oh. You the go. investor that... Uh, Oh, ma ripped ma off what? Ma ma ripped off, off charities. Off or something. Uh, what off. Charities, the Olympic Committee, Everybody. synagogues. And he's not in jail. He's not I in Rikers know, Island. I know. Yeah. This scumbag. It really it's, is. It's, it's house it's, arrest in his penthouse. Yeah. Mull off. And it's freezing out, so who cares? It's, really, it's a perfect place to be. Who wants to be outside anyway? I actually like guys who have the balls to stick guns in people. I have more respect for those people than this guy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> this Don't guy. You? $50 billion, dollars, right? Yeah. He ripped off people. And Rich, you had the name. Mull what? what? Maloff. Yep. That's it. Malof. Say it again. Marlo Thomas. <laughs> Say Something Maloff. 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 Or or Madoff. Marloff. Madoff. It's Marloff. Kevin Marloff. And finally, the Jewish guy in the seventies. Finally, before we wrap up, well, uh, the president of Iraq. Oh, Iran. Iran. Oh, Iran. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Even he has a tough time pronouncing Let, his just, own name. Just hand a tab of paper. Let's see. If you you, you yeah. can read it off paper. I'll even. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> This is, a, this is for breakfast. Oh, my God. This is for breakfast. No, this is for your mortgage. I'm, I'm handing you the name. This is for your mortgage. That rip wasn't Opie's shirt. All right. For your mortgage. I get it. My shirt's Muhammad with you. Muhammad Ahmadinejad. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Oh, whoa. Wait a minute. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. You, got, you got the tough part right, you dumbbell, and you messed up the first name. <laughs> Mahmoud. Mahmoud. I'm a demijod. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you win a, uh, so you get no more. You win squirrel earmuffs. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'll give you oh, two fly that. mittens. Boss has to know his enemies. <laughs> wow, that's, right. that's very yeah. good. Boss. And I'm looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> With that, Rich Boss is going to be at the tree house. Yes. <laughs> and at Uncle Vinny's this weekend. Hey, I, thought you were, weekend. I thought you were an Iranian uh, 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 spiritual leader. <laughs> the uh, I, wait, Ayatollah No Brainy. <laughs> <laughs> That's, you, you stuttered and I know, stammered I know. through that. Is that a mediocre joke? <laughs> wow. Where now in town? No brain. Crocodile Rock. What is that? A theater or a big rock club? It's a rock club. Yeah, it's Who a, are you working with? Me and Lenny Marcus, New Year's Eve. Nice guy. I like Lenny. And finally, guy. and finally, Nick DePaulo, before we get out of here and go to the other joint. Uh, Caroline's January 1st to the 4th, nickdip.com, and the new CD. Funny how at nickdip.com. Perfect. Here in Thank New York. Thank you, fellas. Here in New York. Sorry for coming in here with a, in a bad mood. Ah, it don't matter. Yeah, we're all in bad moods. I apologize. <laughs> we're in we all dropping the F-bomb. <laughs> What a day. Oh, my God. I had a fight with Boss's wife before I left my house. <laughs> <laughs> All right. With that, here in New York, they're going to continue with some rock and roll. And That's where uh, it lives. Yeah, it lives here, yeah, I guess. Apparently so. And we're uh, off to the other <laughs> joint. So no commercials. Right into the rock and roll here in New York. We'll yeah, see you guys tomorrow. All right. Uh, we continue. At least we got that going for us. We continue. We uh, we have a full house. We got Rich Voss, we got Nick DiPaolo, and we got you listening. Second to last show of the year, thank God. You know, time to take a little break and regroup. Yes, Rich. He, nothing. I was just talking about thinking about Nick. He really puts a good fucking perspective on things. He really. What do you mean? It just because it, it's 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 right to the fucking point. It's just 
I'm not kissing. I'm just saying it's you. You got to agree with him a lot of times. But explain why you're. <laughs> <laughs> explain why you're well, saying yell that. that. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. It's. I don't know. Well, just, we were talking movies and you, stuff. Just he's talking about Heenan and. and oh. <laughs> we sat around for about ten minutes just talking movies. I know I've never asked for a pen before when I come yeah. to oh why, why should you? God. I've never mentioned that. Could, oh, the pen. Oh. Yeah, let me why would you anybody put a pen in no, right. Well, mm -hmm. fucking pen is like, mm -hmm. hey, can you please quit coming in here and making Jews look bad? What, David? God. Jesus, oh, he's, David. He's, he's, he should be on every fucking supremacist. Target, whatever. Look, look, right. it's it's such a premise, a, target, wait, whatever. He's just a premise, he's, target board. You know what I'm saying? The fucking saying. way they shoot at him. You know, I'm just. Yeah. Why? He's a nice boy. He's a nice boy. He's, he's what the fucking world sees as Jews. Wow, and it's that really, really bothers you. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right because you know what the world sees as retarded. So what? It's not true. <laughs> All right. But you want him to, to, to see Jews here. like you with tattoos? Yes. And yeah, because exactly. real Jews, not liberal, sell-out, uh, uh, fucking self-hating. You know, speaking of Jews, did you see the movie Defiance? That oh, was actually no, pretty no, nice. No, 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 I like the kid. He's, he's no, a good no. kid. He's, he's a, a hard worker. That you'd like. Are we allowed to have David on the air? Very ever, I, I don't know. This might be too far. For and self-hating. You have more self-hating than anybody I know. No, that's just personal. That's not religious. Just the fact that you're really Dave looks like somebody. Yeah, Natterman. A young Chernoff. What does he look like? Yeah. Mm. David, yeah. well, how do you feel about Boston? We don't what does like, he look like I do like you personally, but so, yeah. but you you gotta you gotta do something. You gotta toughen up. You gotta get a rabbit coat. You gotta get his. What you gotta do? Rabbit coat and a coat. <laughs> <Get, laughs> get, get your. That's oh, right. Hold on, Chuck Liddell. Let me answer. I forgot your Louis Vuitton bag. Jesus Christ! Uh, well, here's what I'm thinking: because you're, you're, you're not, you're not completely a mess. Contact lenses. Okay. Part your hair down the middle. Down no the middle. No one is no. part the of the hair down, down the middle. Oh, 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 Jesus, sir. Get some help. Get some bell bottoms. <laughs> Hang out at the limelight. Hello. <laughs> David, I'm with David. I mean, fucking. No, you look like that. Ted Koppel. That's your business. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ted Koppel. <laughs> Rich, where are you I'm going? Where are you going with this? Well, Rich is like this is a Jew thing. Rich is like this is nightline. Rich is like the um the successful black guy who has his family, the wife and kids, and has to look at the news and see like. Thugs just fucking it up for him. That's what you're like. You're you're a Jewish guy. You don't like uh, spreading your Judaism around, and you see him as like uber Jew walking around being that stereotype no, that people look at and go, "That's see, the problem." Well, see, he's no, a hip hop guy. No, he's Bill Cosby, right? Yeah, type of that's it. Not, it's not that he kind of, and there's nothing. Per, it's not about you. It reminds me of like Upper West Side Jews. Like you could be on stage and say you trash Arabs, and then you get Jews that go, "Oh, oh, you know what? They're the fuck. They're the enemy." And and what it is is just the the liberal passive But it's all about Jews liberals with you. you. It's almost to the point where you make me defend liberals because it's got nothing to do with him. He, he's he's, he's a guy he, with glasses. No, he's a nice guy, but he's, <laughs> a, he's not he as smart as he is. No offense. Right, no, I'm, he I'm, just <laughs> reminded me when I, when I looked at him. I'm calling a timeout. I, I got I to let the listeners know what happened here. We decided, uh, we didn't decide. Rich well, decided to just grab the ball and run with it. I'm but sorry. the problem is he ran right to the sidelines and out of bounds. What are you doing? <laughs> we don't know I'm what you're talking about. We have no idea what you're getting at here. I'm having a breakdown. That's what a Jewish running back oh, having a breakdown. That's what a Jewish football player does. He runs I'm out of bounds. I'm having heat. a breakdown. I'm like sorry. we all take yeah. the ball and try to get something going on. When did that Rich happen? grabs it and runs right right out of bounds. What the, what the plane looks crash? Like, looks oh, like everyone lived. Jimmy, looks, that's your favorite airline, isn't it? it? Looks like Liza Minnelli taking a nap. Look, except for this Enough kid. with these, this couple. <laughs> this kid banged his head. He caught <laughs> 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 Now he's speaking Spanish and shit in his pants. <laughs> I hate this Why, couple. That's the fat bitch that said that yeah. she was standing oh, in the aisle waiting for her husband. Yeah, yeah. How'd you like him? Be behind people, that. people were sliding down her to get out of the plane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's probably the reason they crashed. She stood up and the fucking plane couldn't take off. <laughs> so why would her standing up make a difference? Because I didn't have a good joke, and I realized I was running into a brick wall. So I fucking quickly painted like, like a little pass-through. Like a wild she got thing. heavier as she stood up? Thank God, because I was bombing again, and you covered it up. <laughs> I was going from bomb to second explosion. <laughs> and at least you at least counted a good line.
diverted me. Uh, Thank you. Dave, I'm uh, sorry. You, yeah, why are you talking I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It had nothing to do with you. I'm sorry. You should David. defend this kid. He's a nice it's, kid. It's okay. I don't even... <laughs> it had nothing to do with you. You should defend you know how many pe- commercials he's going to get because he looks like he does. Seriously. Yeah, I know. That's why I told him. Few yeah. people have said I that, would like yeah. to sign him. I would like to fucking go into Sign him. a trillion him. dollars. This, this kid, he's like the next Dell kid or something. You should exactly. be defending him against people who are fucking with him. There's I know. I do. It, it, no, you're yeah. not. You're attacking him. All right, Rich, could you give the ball back? I'm Thank sorry. You. Thank you. We're going to try exactly. something else now. It was the pregame. That's Dude, all. if you want to grab pre-game, the matzo no. ball and run with us. Really? <laughs> Oof. Oh, wow. Did you just say matzo ball? <laughs> and, a, and an like E this. dash yuck. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, we were going to do this today, actually. Listen to this. It's Insertion Monday ah. on the Opie and Anthony Show. Oh. Whoa! Ouch! Oof. Holy moly. He should never do production. Uh, uh, no, he, It's he, so bad. Well, it's not bad when he does it. No? Although, let me apologize to Voss for my earlier criticism of you <laughs> yeah. attacking Davis. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's terrible. Yeah, we, we got in trouble Friday. So What happened? I, I, I missed this. Just, what happened? So now we got to meet about it today or well, something. Well, there were shenanigans and hijinks going on that usually go on on this program, and uh, some people... But, uh, um, don't understand, I, I think. We'll have to discuss this later, but my, my uh, perception of the whole thing is certain people... Are we going to get in trouble for even just talking about I have no idea. That we're in trouble. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> but, the, but this is part of it. The part of our show that people need to understand is that it's an open forum, uh, that uh, if, if there's arguments or things that are going on, it, it, it's brought out on the air. So when uh, uh, people in management get upset about something we're doing on the show and we discuss it on the air... Uh, it's not to be uh, uh, taken like we're sitting in a meeting. This is on the air, and, and that's how it works. Right. That's how our show has always worked. You reveal warts and all. Yes. That's nice, what makes nice. it what it is. Exactly. Good, now, yes. I'm sitting here. I heard you got in trouble, and this is satellite radio. I was here when you had a retarded girl stripping. So oh, I'm thinking, fantastic, what did they do to get in trouble? Yeah. I mean, you had a retarded girl strip. What could you have done that was worse than that? Well, you perform an abortion I, live on the... What, what do you that would have been nice. I'm in deep trouble because I got frustrated and walked off the show, and I guess that's uh, that can't happen, I heard, over the weekend. <laughs> oh. like you, can't, you can't walk off an edgy show because you're upset. can you say you were mm-hmm. acting and something really came up and no. you just wanted to look Mr. Like you Mr. <laughs> But so, th- that's the thing so is, so I'm in trouble, and now we have to talk about it today because I walked off a show. Tacking, tacking. Well, the uh, key is uh, this. an edgy show What's like the, the Open Anthony Jimmy? show. The key is that we we continue and finish up the show, <laughs> so that's if somebody has a meltdown, we all have them from time to time. Of course, the fucking show will continue for the rest of the day. There's days where Ant is not feeling well, doesn't come in, or I, I'm obviously if I'm gone, they get like another comic in. So it's like we all that's co- we, we all cover for each other. Yeah, fucking relax, everybody. As best we can. Exactly. What happened? I don't sweat it. We're trying to do like some insertion bits. And that's what got you in trouble? Uh, there was, uh, there's, Stalker there's, Patty was there's here. There's a law, no insertion bits. Yeah, Stalker Patty was here. And, and we boy, wanted, I wish uh, I could tell you why, but try out some, uh, that would be another Insertion problem. bits on it? Some anal beads. Wanted to, uh, Patty to try out some anal beads. Right. She wasn't biting. She wasn't going to go for it anyway. Well, then try putting but, it in her ass. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, is that where those go? Well, folks, if you want the answer, they work. Exactly. <laughs> and the fact I is, know. it wasn't even anal beads, really. It was just six bowling balls with a chain in between. <laughs> right. <them. laughs> and there was plenty of room to spare. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we want, you know, we were trying to coax her into uh, putting those up or her, her rectum. And, uh, and, and we you got can't the phone do that calls. on radio anymore? Then what we got the, the phone what's calls. What's going on with this world? On satellite know. radio, you can't do that. That's crazy. Then that's, we got the phone calls far, and stuff. You know and and instead, see, what management doesn't seem to understand sometimes uh, is that uh, when they call up and say, no, you can't do that, we can't then just go on the air. I'll tear down a little wall for some of the people. We can't just go on the air and go, all right, we can't do that. And then stop what we were doing. And go into something we else. Have to, have to we have to address the situation. Address it. We have to talk to management about right. it. Yell at them a little bit because it's always, you know, it's us against them. It has been for 14 years. If someone's familiar with the fucking show, yeah, or any for 14 good radio years, show. we've been doing the same act. And hence, Holy shit. And I'm hence, bored with it already. <laughs> yeah, so it's <laughs> not. Did these bees have a crucifix at the end of them? No, no, we right. were hoping well, to. Oh, what a great idea, though. Holy crap, you I'm mean, writing that down. You mean these bleeds? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the outtakes on well, I thought it was the holidays the and stuff. It was a religious oh, uh, cannibal run, right? Yeah. 
So I don't know what it was. Does management listen to <laughs> it? Was it was actually the outtake portion of uh, the Cannibal Room with Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr. I don't know who this man is. Tell him you don't want to hear that joke again. <laughs> He'll understand. Believe me. <laughs> oh my God! Hold on. There we go. That put me right where I needed Holy to be. Holy shit! Where's this Line guy reporting day. from the bottom of a lobster tank? That fucking <laughs> red-faced asshole. Oh Jesus my God. Christ! How really? How old is he? <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh my God! He's supposed to turn blue, not pink. <laughs> Here oh, it is. Just, looks like a newborn baby's head. It's a reddish blue. Yeah. And that's where fucking. Why are we all talking at the same time? What happened? Because this the is shows? the male version of the view. Right. <laughs> 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 Whoopi Goldberg's the dumbest human on the planet. All right. She's good looking, though. Love her. <laughs> <laughs> so, just Beautiful. imagine banging that. Thing. No, hold on. Why don't you just hold fuck on. a defensive back from the Eagles? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Why crack. the Eagles? I don't know. <laughs> just to, so, just to sum up, we now have to meet about the shenanigans that went on. And who Friday. you meet with? Can I call this guy and say hello? Uh, we're meeting with people that we're meeting with people that don't understand our show yet. We have to. Oh, new uh, new guy? I'll keep an open mind and hope that maybe guy? they get it. Well, that's what it is. It's uh, one of you know one is of those situations where we have <laughs> Mushnick. Mushnick. It's one of those situations where we have to uh, discuss and uh, hopefully end up with an understanding where I think they understand the dynamic of this program a little better. Are they new to the program? Yeah, I. Uh, oh, they've been here a while. Uh, uh, it's very uh, difficult. Uh, yeah, like I'm pushing you to a corner. Uh, so they're new to this show. They, they, uh, they're they just, to, yeah, they're a little newer to this show. Um, I think that the impression we have, because Sirius took over, is whether they say it or not, Opie and Anthony's show is still kind of like the fucking, in a weird way, like the creeps across the street. Yeah. And uh, we, we haven't worked closely with them yet, so I still think there's a weird perception about the show. Oh, okay. um, and a weird, like... Like, for him not to understand, I like Steve, but for him not to understand that, that kind of certain things have to happen on the air. Yes. It's like when, when he's talking to our Steve uh, through a Blackberry, and we're like, what's going on? And he just kind of hangs up on Steve. It's like, no, man, part of it is the conflict we're dealing with, and part of it is that uh, you can't just bail out. It's like we're doing a live bit on the air. Now, I'll, 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 I'll use an example of someone that used to get it, and I'm not just throwing a name yeah. around at someone's face, but, uh, yeah, Eric Logan, Elo, he got how this worked. Uh, there were times where he was genuinely pissed or something, but he knew that that's how this show works. So that's what we did. If they don't want that, well, then we got to talk about it. But uh, that's just what we've been doing for that long. And I would think, I would hope that people would be familiar enough with the program to know that when they hear it. Well, and that's not just good uh, radio, man. not get exactly. It's just good radio. That's well, it. Isn't there a big way over? So, so you know, working in the moment. Isn't there like a head head guy over serious that used to work with no, you guys? No, yeah, his name is not at all. And, no, uh, you know what I'm talking about? James Serious. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, Nick. That's very good. That's who he you is. know what I'm talking about? He used to he used to work with you guys at NEW, the skinny guy. And oh, I thought, Jeremy oh, Coleman. No, no. He was a pro. He was a yes. skinny guy. Steve skinny Carlisi? guy that ran NEW, Jeremy Coleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, why are you saying no, no, no? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. I'm sorry. I, I made a mistake. Robert Reed? <laughs> yeah. You know him. <laughs> skinny guy. Yes. He looked like a pussy willow, ironically, at the end of his life. <laughs> so... So we don't have to we don't have to talk about it all day. Trust me, but we, gotta, we it, it amazes me we have to meet about this or or have a look and land shit on his <laughs> <laughs> or have a conference call about this uh, this crap. Uh, it amazes me. I, I hope yeah. they're going to discuss why we haven't been paid in three. Hold on, let's say that and let's save that for later. <laughs> yeah, all yeah. right. Yeah. Well, let's let me save ask you about this payment later. schedule. <laughs> wow! I just won't let it go. You haven't been paid. What's let's, going on? Well, let's, <laughs> what's going on? I mean, Christ, you guys put in. Well, I already, you know, if we're going to discuss stuff, we'll I discuss already hit stuff the today. button once on that one. All right, we'll discuss stuff today. About, we'll discuss uh, that. I like and the other fucking things. curry, wouldn't you? Uh, no, I. No, I'm a, you know what? I'm, I'm a, a dinosaur. Oh God! Kid. I looked up at the top thing uh, when I see <laughs> it's literally a thing. She's not that bad. Who's who's she? That she uh, pretty eyes. little Auburn uh, hair. Yeah, it's Marsha Mason. I'm uh, yeah, They're all kind of morphing into one looking fucking being though. All these news chicks. Have you seen? Look me? at her. Yeah. Her hair's a little met. Look at her. She yeah, has fucked over your skull in the park. She has oh. fucked hair. Oh, man. On CNBC. Look at the little picture of that little girl. Have you seen me? 
Have yeah. you seen me? Yeah. I would have sex. I have. I would have sex. Tad with, thin. I would have sex with Diane Sawyer before Ann Curry. <laughs> Diane Sawyer. You've had something for Diane Sawyer for a while. Diane Sawyer and I don't understand is sixty-three that at all. years old today. So. Sixty-three. Really? And if she looks anything like she does on In, TV, I would. I yes, I will. Oh, she still sir. looks good. I can't say lady. anything. I see that. I put cornstarch on my snatch. <laughs> I would have to say yes, I would. friction. Fuck that dry uh, catnip. <laughs> So fucking disgusting. I'm about to cunt with Lindsay. That's right. I was going to say mink oil. Yeah, some kind of weird old yeah. person uh, oil. Murphy's <laughs> oil of <laughs> <laughs> She has to put her hips and pussy under a mattress yeah, if you want to fuck her the next time. <laughs> ties it. Yeah, she ties her legs together. <laughs> her vag is drooping out like fucking butterfly wings. <laughs> just, <laughs> nice <laughs> pussy cadaver. <laughs> It looks like, awful. Looks like a uh, looks like a bad bone in heat. ball with that fucking. <laughs> oh god, <laughs> her pussy is awful. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I think a hand glider flew into your vagina. <laughs> a meaty hand glider. How about that bitch that just had her, there. had her 18th kid? That fucking broad. Oh, oh yeah. Has, just had her 18th kid. Oh, I got a reality fucking, show coming up uh, yeah, or something. Oh, yeah, I know who you mean. Her cunt has a dog door on it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. They're just dropping out as she's walking to work. <laughs> <laughs> fucking 18 kids. Her vagina's in a red wagon she pulls behind her. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Megan Kelly's pretty hot, though. No. Yeah, she's, she's there's something a little masculine looking yeah, about her. Actually, let me take that. Can't figure her eyes it out. Are a little too far I've seen her personally. But, pretty good looking. Uh, oh, she's sexy though, man. She's kind of a ruddy, bad. tough face. Yeah, not she, bad. I like right. her tie. Her forehead's pushed forward a little that? bit. I don't like that. Yeah, you guys, she's got the uh, yeah, nose the of an thing. Irish cop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 yep. Oh, she's cute. Uh, she's very cute. She's like, you gotta go over there. It's like fucking. It's like the Playboy Mansion over there. Yeah. Fox? Oh my yeah, really? God. Crazy. Yeah, kind of off news chicks these days. <laughs> <I'm fucking laughs> that one hot chick, uh -huh. Greg Gutfeld. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have discussions. All I'm saying with, is um, if they're upset with us, well then let's uh, let's have some talk. That's why Bob Eatman That's is gonna be involved in uh, so, 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 ever, so all you the talk, we'll all talk. the Bobby issues Eatman. can be covered. We'll Whatever talk. issues need be covered. Uh, they will be covered. I had a really bad week, so what can I tell you? What are you talking there was, about? There was a man? few things that happened last week that made us upset. Other than uh, we'll talk today. How about this? And then maybe you guys will understand the show a little bit more, hopefully. Uh, How about this? Say. Hey. Yes, James Norton? I wanted to cover some more news stories. No! What about... I do, too. What about this... Uh, How about McCarty turning into an old woman? How about we do this? <laughs> How about we take a break and we'll regroup? He's and I got a worst. surprise for Rich Voss when we get back. Oh, it is your day, Rich. I hold in my hand. Should I say it before the break? Yes. I don't is even it know what it is. Skin cap. <laughs> We're coming to the end of the year. Yeah. I hold in my hand. Rich Voss's bombs and flubs for 2008. All right. <laughs> wow. We're on stage or here? Here. Uh, here. We got bombs and flubs. Yeah. All the rich capacity on the DVD is only so much. <laughs> all, from, uh, <laughs> all, all from Rich Voss. And we'll take a look at Jimmy break. for approval. Anytime. Mm, no. oh. uh, I get an F. <laughs> teach. Yo, teach. <laughs> yeah, stand and deliver. You pump me up. Give me a C at least. I want to see that new Banderas movie where he teaches the tough kids the tango. I saw it already. That's, oh, that's an old new movie. It's awful, isn't it? No, nah, I thought it was pretty good. Was it? For real? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, listen. It would be good if he teaches them the tango and they cut his throat and raped his dance partner. <laughs> <laughs> and they fucked his face while he bled out. <laughs> while he bled out. There you go. Take this, Zorro. Take a shot right in the gullet. <laughs> they carved gang signs into her fucking clit and tits. Holy Yuck. <laughs> fucking tango. Holy shit. I'm going to learn a tango in my lips. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Imagine making Boom. a movie where you're teaching the kids a tango. Um, yeah. Unbelievable. How they really get their and finger sure on the pulse they're, they're America, all huh? rebellious at first, but then he says something it's and inspires them. And <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Stop. Yeah. What Such a phony fucking... would never, ever fucking happen in real life, ever. You, you got to see these movies that are all nominated. The fucking... Sad uh, keeps sending them to we'll me. Do that after break. Oh. We're, getting, we're going into a regroup here. I think I'm buying more um, <laughs> Bump. car stock. Thank you, sir. Good question. Food is here. Perfect timing. Beautiful. Thank you, Kenny. Holy uh, shit! Look at oh, Kenny. Why get back? Why? 
five scoops of ziti. The en- wow. All right. We're going to break. All right. When we get back, Rich Voss bombs and flubs for two thousand eight. To Opie and Anthony, Rich Voss playing the uh, Treehouse. New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve. Where's that? Uh, Danbury. Is it Danbury? Yes, Danbury. Yes, Danbury. The city, it's at the though. top of a redwood. <laughs> Danbury. <laughs> Danbury, Connecticut. <laughs> Uncle Vinny's this weekend, I think. All no, right. not this weekend. The twenty. Yeah, whatever. All right, right on. Good plug. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Rich, you gotta be. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, plug that. happily. I am. I like that guy. He's a good guy, man. You want to plug happily? Here's what you do. Hey, good news, ladies and germs. I got a, a show at the Borgata, a little place in Atlantic City. Go mm-hmm. there, and uh, you go there, and a ninety thousand dollar car. You come home with. I fucked that up, and a real expensive bus or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> and it's January eighteenth. The night before MLK's B Day. <laughs> After that plug, people are giving back their tickets. Why would they do that? Because the plug sucks. <laughs> Yeah, no. Sorry, we can't all have good plugs. No, oh. actually, actually, it's very good plug. Thank you. Let's see if Nick can do a better <laughs> you job. Get that one. Hey, right, if you're doing nothing, <laughs> <laughs> Nick will do a better what, job. What better way to get rid of that, uh, that that New Year's Eve hangover than spend it with me, January first <laughs> through the fourth at Caroline's Comedy Club, January one through four. That's right, Thursday yes. through Sunday, folks. You can get tickets at nickdip.com and pick up my new CD, Funny How. Listen to that one on the way home. Yeah, listen to that in your Definitely. car on the way home. Especially if you have little kids, if they like the word twatzone. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline's is good the first week of January. It's always packed. and uh, Yeah, Caroline's I had somebody place. throw a glass at me four years ago, so come uh, on out. Memories. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking beautiful. Little memories. All right. Uh, Rich Boss, bombs and flubs for 2008. I this is your big do day, other Rich. stuff first. No, Jesus. we'll do this first. Like yeah. the year in uh, review. Have. They love you. Yeah, Rich. <laughs> there was a couple funny lines this year. All right, we can play Name the Celebrity again. No, no, go to Bombs <laughs> yeah. and Flubs. Oh, go to Bombs and Flubs. Yeah. All right, well, I'm mm-hmm. going to give you one. Oh. Arnold Hitler. We're going to show him this one. <laughs> oh, I know. That's easy. That's easy. All right. John Malkovich. Who? Malkovich. Who? Yeah. John Malkovich. I, I, I slur a little sometimes. <laughs> I didn't <Yeah>. notice it. <laughs> if you didn't say anything, I would have never known you. Oh. Spit all over me. <laughs> oh, <wow>. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy Lee. Jesus Christ. Right, here's another. I'm going to try to get you a, another easy one. Oh, Kiefer Sutherland. Okay, good. Sutherland. Sitting next to Voss is like sitting at the red seats at SeaWorld. <laughs> you know those? <laughs> the ones that are like, all right, you, your own risk away. right here. And that whale comes out of the water. First two rows of the tree hut, they're going to have Gallagher plastic. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I forget his. Give me his first name, I'll tell you his second one. Lisa. <laughs> oh. Paul. Oh. Uh, oh, no. Strap Giovanni. it. Giovanni. Oh, Paul, right around it. Paul you're right Giovanni. Around it. Giovanni? <laughs> All right, wait, you're close. Giovanni. Giovanni. Mm. One more try. The Gia part's right. Paul uh, G. Gia Mon- Monty. Monty. Giovanni. <laughs> All right. <laughs> fail. Just fail. <laughs> how, about this, how about this one? Oh. What that fucking guy. He was in that uh, show with Dice. Right. I'll give you a hint. That's, uh, what's his first name? Vin- Serrano's Vince? got the disc. Serrano's got the disc. <laughs> Is that Vince? <laughs> yeah. Dennis. Dennis. Oh, Dennis. Oh, yeah. Dennis. He's so far, in- no good, Rich. <laughs> He's the one, uh... Dennis, oh, yeah. Oh, Farina. <laughs> Dennis Farina. Did he Dennis? change his name? Yes. Dennis Farina. No, no, no. Mm. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right, you would know. Then right. what is it? Dennis Farina. <laughs> All right, I told you. Oh, Harvey Keitel. All right. Oh. Wow, he's... Eyes now. Yeah, See, he's... I told you the old ones I know. A bit over. New one. Oh. Pop blonde. She just, she's got yeah. her hanky on eBay right now. This is... Oh, yeah, uh, that's one that blew her nose on Leno. Yeah. This Who is, is what, right now one of the hottest chicks in Hollywood. I have a photo with her. Yeah. Shut it. Do you? Of her. I see it. What, what's her first name? I'll tell you in a second. I know yeah. her. I met her at Robert the, uh, Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Scarlet. Oh, oh, so handsome. Met yeah. her to Woody Allen. I was going to say O'Hara. <laughs> so far, Chief O'Hara. <laughs> yeah, Chief O'Hara. Hi, <laughs> right, Batman. Uh, fuck my big juicy tits. <laughs> Come in my face like that Canadian. 
Who's he? Chief O'Hara. What a racist fucking Chief character O'Hara. that was. Holy shit, I yeah. forgot about that guy. Yeah, everyone remembers yes. Commissioner Gordon. He's got to be dead for mm-hmm. remember years. Chief O'Hara, yeah. big fat Mick. He would just walk in every day and go, Tootly do, drunk. <laughs> I eat potatoes and beat me wife. Drunk. It's like great fucking police force you got. You need a superhero every day because you're too fucking tanked exactly. to do your job and command your, a police force. That's well, hilarious. Well, it was Commissioner Gordon and Officer Justin Volpe. <laughs> and Batman would have to fly in and remove the plunger from Haitian Heinies before the media got wind of it. And then Robin would smell them in the bad cave. That's what they were doing. <laughs> And Alfred would come in and scold him. Young, young Master Robin, stop licking the evidence. That's not an ice pudding pop. You big cock fruit. You fucking double underwear wearing Master faggot. Master Robin. <laughs> uh, yes. Wow, no, that Kathy Lee Gifford. Found feces on the red uh, phone. She's a beast. Yeah, it is. Nick, would you? Oh, Kathy. Fuck yeah. yeah. Only yeah. if Frank was watching. I think in I his diaper. I'd go there, I think. Look at her neck, though. She's when put you on tell when they have She's work on her face. Work. Yeah. Why don't they do their neck? That's my bit, Rich. If I hear you doing it on stage, I'll kick <laughs> really? you. Really? First of all, it's obvious. I'm looking at her neck. Going, I know. I'm just so saying. So fucking sorry, Captain Obvious. <laughs> I want to get rehired. Well, Captain uh, Obvious. How many well, other easy with those neck? brand new insults? I know. <laughs> We're just saying. So Rich, I don't know. Rich, how many other Nick DePaulo bits do you do? Seventeen. Seventeen. He's got a chunk of a Louis Vuitton bag that I used to do. Yeah. So, can I tell you something, Ant? Yes. What's going on today is uh, we're distracted because we have the big conference call at 5 o'clock today. See, if there was an issue, we probably should have discussed this on Friday. Yeah. Or over the oh. weekend. But yeah. but Please. people don't really understand how we work or our show yet. So are they, I'm, I'm gonna sorry ask that you they again. don't know Are these that guys yet. new? I don't understand. They're new right? to our show. Oh, they are. Okay. Yeah. It'll all work all right. out. We got a big. Uh, You'll be fine. We got I'm a sure big distraction because it came down. I think uh, late Saturday oh, that we were going to have this huge conference call today at five. Saturday. So it kind of puts you, you in a little bit of a distraction over the phone. Rich, what the hell is that, Rich? What are you Rich doing, Rich? Just you wonder why his computer's broken at yeah. home? Yeah. <laughs> just drop everything. You want to do? Uh, got the nervous system of fucking. Somebody pick a fucking <laughs> Stephen Hawking. Yeah. I don't know. Fucking hey, I do that bit on stage. Michael J. Fox. <laughs> I do the Stephen Hawking thing. Yes, you fucking move like him. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Stephen Hawking? What is he known for? He's brilliant. He's the guy in the wheelchair that fucking invents everything. <laughs> Stephen Hawking. He sells a lot of things. <laughs> what? what is I don't he, know. He's like the computer guy. What did he invent? What did he invent? Yeah, he invented that paddle thing you do with the... <laughs> I don't know who the fuck he is. Name one thing he invented. Name a wheelchair. Rich, who's that up there on the right? Things. That I see governor. <laughs> What's his name? Bonovich. All right. Close what enough. did What did Stephen Hawking invent? Yeah. What did he invent? Rich? He invented snow ties for his chair. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what did he invent? He's a physicist. He invented it. <laughs> what? What? Uh... A drool resistant necktie. <laughs> <laughs> What's his expertise? <laughs> Uh, Shitting his pants and not combing his hair. That's right. <laughs> he can say, help me in four different languages. <laughs> and uh, and uh, clicks his teeth twice to say hello, three times to say goodbye. <laughs> oh, shit. And four times to say, the black orderly has been fucking my face. Can you replace him? <laughs> What's his expertise, Rich? His uh, index finger. He can write a book what? with his tongue. <laughs> His index finger? Mm. Mm. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, we're going to do Mods and Flubs, starring Rich Voss. Oh. The year-end uh, edition. We'll start with this one. Rich has no idea what we're talking about and decides to jump in anyway. Has now been arrested? A hundred, hundred and something times. Milestone. Is it time? Uh, how many times he's been arrested? Yes. Or what yes. for? Oh, okay. It's a milestone. I will say... One thousand times. That's that. That's that would be impossible. I'm sticking with it. That's impossible. Because I don't care if I win or not. I'm gonna go with. How could how can I'm you go with a thousand? A thousand. That's, that's insane. I'm saying a thousand. It's not, not enough days. It'd be arrested what? a thousand. I read times. this story and I can't remember if it's a hundred or a thousand, but it's one of those. I'm uh, saying a thousand. Uh, a hundred. Uh, easy. Child support. <laughs> Holy <laughs> moron. He's thinking about what Bonnie's gonna ask for when she leaves him. <laughs> You weren't listening. Wow. What? Yeah, you just <laughs> blurted. You just blurted that out. 
Yeah, right. that was kind of a... I kind of remember that one. Another bomb from Rich. Uh, Rich tells what uh, Colin is eating. Colin Quinn. What? What? Have some egg whites. What are you doing? I'm trying to help Colin. I'm watching my eating? friend hurt himself. What is he eating? Like, uh, I'm what what is he eating? Or an apple turnover. I Fifth and yet. sixth grade. Apple. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> suffered back uh, I think you, you meant he was covering up childhood oh, wow. things. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good line. It's not a good line. Yeah, that's a good line. You're right. It's not because, a good line yes. if the question is where, what comes after fourth grade. <laughs> no, it's a good line. <laughs> it's because, never a good line. Yes, yes, because he's, he's burying feelings. I got it. So it was a great line. It was a terrible time. line, even mm. though I got it. It's like, what's he eating? You should have said something that... Covering no, the memory. He's not fifth and sixth grade. It was too vague. It was not like he no, was. No, it's not too vague. It's too. It's too obscure. It makes you think. And no, it's like what you did he got it? Maybe what did, he, what did he swallow? Is different because you swallow that. You, you, yeah. don't, you don't eat your anger. Excuse me, guys that are swallowing getting paid it is the, is the now. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Well, she, God, that would mean you. What do you think? I get a check when certain other people don't? What a fucking illusion are you under? <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's, that's strong, Rich. Uh, another bomb from Rich Voss. Why would Colin climb a tree? We find out. <laughs> what, were you, what did you want to play? Uh, oh. Well, it, it's just that it's on the same uh, CD, and it's one of our favorites, the the, the Screaming Tree People. Oh, yeah. yeah. Have you heard yes. of this one, Colin? The Screaming Trees? Yes. You did hear no, this one? Not the band. No, not, not the, the band. band. No, I did hear you guys heard this. Colin cl this climbs one. one. Here's that was the thing. Why would he climb one? Why would yeah. I? I don't know. Do you think this thing's through? What are you doing? Here's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of this is coming from one day. That might have been a bad day. Second of all, he's a, this the tree is screaming because Colin at the time was a little big. Well, it could have been ten minutes ago. He's still fat. We. I'm not going to attack it. Wow. <laughs> oh god. We're about to so, play the bomb of the year from you. We get where you're going. Yeah, no one didn't. Get I it, think Rich. the fifth and sixth grade one is really good though. We know you do. Oh god, he's still on that one. Yeah. You know what's a good bit? Woody Allen's bit on how his father worked at Coney Island and Woody could never knock over the milk bottles. That was a good bit. And then the tidal wave came, did about a million dollars worth of damage, and the only thing left standing were those little milk bottles. <laughs> That's a good bit. That's a good bit. What was Colin eating? Fifth and sixth grade is the blurted out remark of an idiot. And I love you. You know I love you very much. Listen, but that was a terrible line. I have terrible lines all the time. It's part of life. This is uncomfortable for everybody. No, not. So what is no I love it. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. I'm just watching the clock. Got to yeah. make sure I stay until 11 o'clock so I don't get in trouble. Nah. Uh, here is possibly the bomb of the year from you, Rich Voss. Wow. How's that muffin? Can I have a bite? I'm so hungry. Do you really think I'm going to fall for that so you can smash it? Oh, yeah. It looks like a period soaked up in it. Oh, what is it? Oh, that's great. What's oh. on top there? That's so you, it's, it's exactly well, really, what, what is it? What do you mm. order? Mama a heavy his day last corn tampon. muffin. I'm sorry, I'm stepping all over each other over here. Let's just trot upon each other. Can I get a heavy day corn muffin? <laughs> okay, that's good. And uh, <laughs> why would you say you think I'm going to fall for that? Yeah, I do. You yes. gave me your coat and ended up in the garbage <laughs> pail. You did. <Yeah. laughs> How was hey, today, Rich? Did you have to because rest? you think I'm going to fall for that? <laughs> right. You fell for it uh, an hour ago. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, but, hey, did it cost extra for them to cut the string off that muffin? <laughs> Get it? Bloody cut joke. <laughs> Number three. <laughs> <laughs> I figured Ants and Nick's did well. I would jump in and make a bloody cunt joke about your fucking rotten, clotted muffin. I hate your clotted muffin. That fucking muffin yeah, should like be laying on... a giant ass polyp. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jacqueline Kennedy should be trying to pick half of that muffin up off the back of a fucking limo. Oh, shit. <laughs> Get it? Uh, I, oh, like I, a corn I, muffin, muffin like a, should be... It's a corn muffin with an exit wound. <laughs> it should, should be on the bathroom floor. Yeah. With Children's furniture out by the curb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a brand new one, fucking folded up. It still smells new. It still has those little packing peanuts flecks on the outside of it. <laughs> oh, the pain is taking down that little level. mobile. <laughs> he just rip it down. Pain comes out. Yeah, some sheet rock comes out of the ceiling. Nick. So angry. <laughs> he said, Take a break. This could be a while. By the curb. <laughs> 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 we were trying to get a chick to lactate. Yeah. <laughs>
Uh, at least another five minutes. Uh, at no. At least. At least. We're, we're terrible. This is gross. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I'm can offended. We, can we play the rough? <laughs> <laughs> but the bright side is you have a new office that nobody will want to go in. <laughs> no. You can almost see the unicorns through the paint. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do your paperwork. <laughs> stare up. That's see yeah. stars and angels. Yeah. Maybe we should have got rid of the dolphin curtains <laughs> before I moved my desk in. <laughs> dolphin curtains. Oh, shit. God, oh. is it just fucking ruthless, man? Woo. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Where, uh, where were we? Fifth, fifth and sixth grade. In All right. Fifth and sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> this is It's terrible. Rich, you got a third ear on your head, I should know about. <laughs> fucking headphones are... <laughs> oh, he always wears them like a fucking... Fuck one is up on his hat. It hurts my ear this year. Oh. Cancer? Mm. <laughs> yeah, what, what ailment is that? Possibly the bomb of the year from Rich Voss. Here it goes. Yeah, you just start looking and going, I got to get out of here. There's going to be traffic. <laughs> Tanker explodes in Massachusetts. Is wow. it mass? My dad drives an auto tank in Massachusetts. Wow, you're talking oh. about a strike. <laughs> well, that wasn't that was I have never heard silence like that and I've been in the woods camping <laughs> fucking by myself in fucking Maine <laughs> holy shit here's the thing what the line after that got fucking line of the day you cut it off right there it's called deceiving it's called Bombs and flubs with yeah. Rich Voss, you idiot. Are they taking you out of context? Yes, yeah. they are. Oh, look what, at them. They're fucking liberals. What was it? <laughs> <laughs> liberals. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a good way. Voss is going to go and punch Anthony's muffin. <laughs> he punched my sandwich. That's a panini. But it's fine. <laughs> yeah. He made the panini. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he actually broke his little turtle finger hands on the sandwich. <laughs> Rich just planted his fist in Anthony's sandwich. It did no damage. Of course it did. What the fuck is wrong with you, Rich? It, it left like a cat paw print. Yeah. yeah, there's like nothing wrong with this sandwich. I, I could be a fucking, I, I could be a marionette and the puppet hand coming down. I've done more damage than that. I didn't want to really hurt it. It's like a bird stepped on it. Three little fingers. It's fucking awful. It bounced right back, that sandwich. I know. Look. Pretty amazing. Perfect. You never know that sandwich was just punched. Yeah. No. Right, oh, Voss his... can break his hand on a club sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Weakling? Yes. Voss took four rounds to knock out the turkey sandwich. <laughs> Straight right hand to the tomato. <laughs> All right. That was cute. Uh, we're going to do flubs now with Rich Voss. Uh, I thought we were done. You said the, the year. bombs of the bombs and flubs. You ought to sell these on your website, Rich. Yeah. This could be fun. We'll give this disc to you. You put it up on your website. Here we go. Rich tells everyone where you can buy his DVD. RichBossDVDAmazon.com. This is a good place to leave it. Oh, Amazon.com. <laughs> Did you just say Amazon.com? Amazon. That's where you should go for Voss's uh, DVD. Yeah. Amazon.com. Amazon. Well, why don't you look at that website? <laughs> what? That's where my DVD is. It's at Amazon. That's where it is. You said Zot. Amazon.com. That's look at this. Amazon. He's trying to act, and and his whole face goes limp. It's like you have Bell's palsy when you fucking act. You can't, you can't fib. You can't. You can't tell a fib. I you can't. I like how your whole face goes like this. You're just very sorry. Like you're trying to ventriloquism. He's trying to lie about a date rape because like you get a stroke. Here's a wonderful flub from Rich Voss. Listen to this one. We'll see. Great minds think a lot. I like. Oh my oh, god! Yeah, exactly. I'm great gonna get <laughs> all right. Lot. Perfectly oh, correct. I didn't. Quoting... <laughs> it's actually true what he said. <laughs> they do think a lot, great man. <laughs> wow. The one his trip to England is my favorite line. <laughs> Hopefully we have that. Hey, holding up the whole elevator, and the whole elevator's just like uh, wilted with from misery. <laughs> he, put his, he put his hand in so it opens. I go, thank you for holding us all up. <laughs> I'm glad someone said it. Yeah. All right. The world evolves around you. There was a, a packed elevator ready to go to the floors. All right. Please, please tell me what, that I'm not the only one that heard the world evolves around you. I said revolves. You did, person, but without an arm. There's a person stranded. There's a person stranded. Yes. 
I remember that one. (laughs) The world evolves around you. The world doesn't evolve around you, huh? Mm -hmm. I hated it. (laughs) The world evolves. It's just Uh great. Uh Damn brilliant. You could feel when the scaffold was cutting across your stomach, right? When the what, Rich? The scaffold was cutting across your stomach. Was, it, was there a scaffold cutting across your stomach? Yes. Oh, my God. You couldn't see hanging up, so you couldn't see. You can see, so but you can see. You can... Looking over the top of it. Hold on. So I... they took the scaffold, though, and where, where did they cut? What do you mean? Well, the father of your daughter just said that a scaffold was used no, to was cut you. He was on a building on the side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A scaffold. In the room. scaffold. A scaffold. I, I, oh, my God. Everybody man. knows it's a scaffold. Maybe Who I was just... a baby? Two painters? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, what, Rich? A scaffold. Everybody knows that. Maybe I was just daydreaming. A scaffold? A scaffold. That's what cuts you. <laughs> what? A scaffold. A scaffold? A scaffold? By the way, this is live. Scaffold. This isn't another no. one of the f- flubs no. that we're playing. This Tomorrow's is our last day of the year. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a scapel. You're saying scapel now? Yes. All right. Cool. Scapel. Uh, scapel. Hey, nice. do you, are you not religious because you hate to go to chapels? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, scapel. Do you like scrapple? Mm-hmm. Do you eat scrapple? I should have yeah. cut it one. tea. <laughs> yeah. Scapel. 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 Scapple. Scapple? Scapple? Indian oh, savages oh, when they would oh, scap yeah. people. Scapple. <laughs> yeah. What oh, is it called? The it doesn't matter. You know. Scapple. Scapple. What's it called? Scapple iced tea. Oh, <laughs> Snapple. Yeah. All right, we Snapple. got the next one. Rich tells yeah, Danny. Move on. You rule, Rich. Rich tells Danny to get another tattoo. Bombs and flubs with Rich Voss for <laughs> 2008. Hey, oh, so right. you're I saying went. that the Nazis, they were the ones that set the bar? Yeah, yeah, that's so that's right. you. But see, Rich, I live in a time and, and day where they have electric cars and the internet, so I don't have to worry about <laughs> oh, so some people you? throwing me on a train to Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't ever have to worry about that. So He's I taking the that. Nazi fucking definition <laughs> yeah. of a Jew. <laughs> and that's what it is. <laughs> get some more Star David tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, get some gargoyle ones. Wait, I got a of diamonds going socks. That's what socks. A shark or a gorgon sweater. Gargoyle, whatever. Uh, Get some more gargoyle. <laughs> gargoyle. <laughs> and... Anthony's line got lost in the laughter. What you, Anthony says, what do you wear? Argoyle socks. <laughs> Argoyle socks. Oh, my God. Gargoyle. Gargoyle. Oh. He just blurts this shit out <laughs> without even a, blinking. A gargoyle. Gargoyle. So we yeah. love you, Rich. We put this whole thing together for you today, knowing you were going to be in. Yeah, it's we a We got tribute. one more. A Good. tribute. Oh. You're a fine catalyst to this uh, radio show. There's been some really fucking strong moments. We got to put that together. That's boring. Who wants to hear that? That's true. Who yeah. want to hear the silliness? And these are all strong moments, by the way. They're fucking yeah. hilarious. Gargoyle is very funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but I didn't do that on purpose. That's the. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you did, it that's wouldn't the be key funny. You're being funny. That's not Brian. That's, that's why we call them flubs, you dummy. Exactly. <laughs> not trying. That's the whole. Key. That's the whole bit's called bombs and flubs. Not trying. Yeah, Rich Voss, not trying. Try. Let it be known, you're very funny on the stage. And very funny on the radio, just in a different way on the radio. Thank you're, you. you're in complete control on a comedy stage. Complete, my friend. Uh, I, I missed this one. A famous tenor was not at Opie's wedding. I don't know what this is. Oh. Is this a good oh, one? Oh, my oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Is yeah. this good? I, yeah, it's I fucking, of course it is. All right. The lovely Lindsay was yes. uh, as beautiful as, uh, as everyone thought she would be in her uh, wedding uh, dress. Oh. Isn't that ridiculous when she came walking in? Like wow, that's how a bride yeah. should look. It's a, yeah, yeah, it's like that's that's how a bride should look, not with razor stubble. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Daddy. <laughs> I guess you it want was, me to be a bride this evening. <laughs> I guess it was a secret when it came to Pavarotti. Pavarotti? What's it? Oh, Pavarotti. Ooh. <laughs> Pavarotti? <laughs> you know, it's it's mere moments after the show started. Mere moments. I've never had any around me. What does that even mean? I don't know what he was even going Pavarazzi? for. Pavarazzi? Yeah, yeah. We're the guys that take the picture. 
Yeah, he was trying to say Pavarotti. Why don't they just call him photographers? Pavarotti. <laughs> the Pavarotti. It's always a tenor snapping your picture. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> he's like singing in your face as he's snapped away. Say cheese! <laughs> Uh, Brad Pitt, look this way. <laughs> <laughs> the Pavarotti wasn't at your wedding. <laughs> oh, my God. Rich, I'm giving this to you. Maybe you put it on a CD or something. Yeah, oh, yeah. you should. Yeah, is, Hidden you track. Hidden tracks. That'd be good. Go old school. Hidden yeah. tracks, right? There you go. <sighs> Merry Christmas, Thank by you. the way. Yeah, this is all you're getting. Oh, now my CD's Christmas. going to reach 17 minutes. That's all you're getting. I got a new one coming out. Yeah. Rich Boss, Heaven Sent. Wonderful. I am. Yeah, the guy, uh, that guy, Coke Logic, is and uh, is doing the cover. Uh, Big deal. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna do uh, German nursing service caters to gay elderly. After oh the my break. god! A quick break. Those Germans. Yeah, yes. How could it? What do they serve the food out of a bedpan? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> 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 it's horrendous at that. But uh, so, but uh, Craig Ford. See you later, person we can't mention. Night. We're back with the Opie and Anthony show. Had a nice little visit. Yeah, that was nice. Happens Christmas. around the holidays. You get those the, Christmas visit. Right. You get a little homecoming action. Red jacket like Santa. I was very happy to see. Uh, him. All right, what are we doing here? Bang. He didn't leave, did he? That was the biggest smash I ever took. Was from Roland. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Something in the water today? Why? What happened? What happened? We were like, well, keep to, it to, in to his credit, he <laughs> oh, doesn't wow. really get. He anything. doesn't understand, uh, yeah, anything. anything. Thank no, you, either. Jimmy. Isn't the point. See, there are certain people that um, aren't really supposed to be around. Yeah. Well, how, right. you, you, you weren't supposed yeah, you, you That's why I said that. person we can't mention. Yeah, That's but over did say clue. person we can't mention. Usually a clue. And, and, and Ann, why don't you uh, tell everyone the observation you saw during the break with my, um, with the intern. Oh, God damn. <laughs> What what what's that the intern's name? Is that Joe? I or? think it's Joe. He's a good Joe. guy. He's a fan. If you're a fan, you can become an intern. But, That's but how it works. Holy again. mother of God. A little observation might have helped. Joe, Joe, did you realize what you did? At all? Did you realize what you did? And well, that I, I, was I, so wait, 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 Tell oh, him. Just because I heard you on the air saying you were hungry, I asked if you want anything to eat. So All during right. the break, he comes running and he goes, he comes running are you hungry? He's like, you need anything to eat? Ope, you hungry? And he's standing right very close to Ope. Five, Ope's sitting feet. there. He goes, Ope, are you hungry? Do you want something to eat? Opie couldn't answer him because his mouth was full. <laughs> he was I, eating. <laughs> the second he, I got the last word out, I saw it. <laughs> he was... He had, a, a, and it wasn't yeah. like a little snack to tide him over until he gets something to eat. It was a huge sandwich. It was a breakfast sandwich. It was a breakfast sandwich. He's my, eating it. It was in my right hand, and my mouth couldn't have been fuller. I, I'm laughing. Yeah. I'm going, he's asking him if he's hungry, and Opie can't answer because he's eating. We got him one on birthday. I wish that was on yeah. the air. Oh, it was Sorry perfect. I wish that was on the air. I was like, how do you say that? Yeah. Uh, Quiet. Yeah, I'm trying to hit this story about green nightclubs. What? Oh, great. <laughs> the fuck what is that about? What, I got to recycle my date rate pills? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what the fuck is going on in this world? Uh, green. Fucking green nightclub. Yeah, turn down the right. sound system. I'm going to save. Noise pollution. Jesus I, fucking I Christ. I can't breathe in noise. Shut up. It yeah. goes away the second you shut the shit off. It's not pollution. <laughs> I fucking hated that always. It's noise pollution. It's damaging to, to what? Click. It's off. The air's clear. It's not like fucking <laughs> coal pumping out of smokestacks in the 30s. No, it's pollution. All right. Hippie cool. bastards. So, uh, uh, are right. my eardrum. <laughs> yes. Let's, let's learn about the old gays and what happens to the old gays. Ah, the they old gays. They get married, gays. their wife goes to Canada, and they stay with their ex-wife. In, <laughs> <laughs> in rabbit coats. <laughs> oh, it's awful. And they, Fruit. They, yeah. You're not dying, Rich. You're killing everyone around you. <laughs> Do we have any pain? Tie under a bridge. We have any pain in the office? Fur coat, and they weigh 11 pounds, <laughs> bleeding from their assholes as pigeons peck at their fucking festering sores. <laughs> that conjures Who's up quite that? an image. It's <laughs> a pigeon pecking at your rotted nuts. <laughs> yeah, pigeon's got shit on his beak. Mm. Pigeon's, uh... 
Putin could enjoy some sarcoma. <laughs> Quite a, it looks tasty. <laughs> Uh, uh, we're not saying you're an old queen who's going to die of AIDS. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes. yes. No. I wasn't talking about, he was talking about just gay people. Yeah, I'm, talking about, about, I'm talking about you. We're we're calling with you your, gay, Rich. Yeah, with your fucking rabbit jacket. Look, look at that purse. thing hanging on. If that look, uh, that hanging on the back of the chair, you would absolutely go. What are you which, doing? Which girl? Which girl does this belong to? You wrote a note to? to him to come get my jacket from behind me, probably. I did not, Rich. No, I would, right, just, I would never. Anything. I would never have blown it by pointing out yeah, your jacket on the back of that stupid. chair. Uh, uh, let's learn about. Never underestimate his stupidity. Uh, yes, please. <laughs> the mystery of Jesus tonight at five on CNN. No mystery. It's going to be exposed. Sure, that'll be the objective report. <laughs> oh, oh, what are you doing? A <laughs> good one. Did you just shit into the microphone? <laughs> Pretty much, might, might as well. Oh. Oh, 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 you dropped an aerial right on that mic. An aerial. <laughs> this thing absorbs it too, like a fucking <laughs> set of underwear. Wow. Oh, uh, he shit into the mic. That could be a bad cover. one. All right, let's get into the German nursing service. The yeah. yes. and the gay older lady. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> You're right, Rich. Perfectly fine. <laughs> oh, I'm rich. With his rabbit coat on his lap now. Yeah. I flew into Miami, and I, I saw the golf course that we had that fine uh, Doral. Oh. We, we played Doral, thanks to you, see? Yes, we did, and I'll... What? <laughs> what, the Statue of Liberty yes. freezing to death? It's just funny. It's it's not <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Who, what? New York cares coke drive. Get the... Hey, I gave away a Jesus coat this year. Fucking I Christ. You know, if you don't have a coat during the winter, you don't deserve one. How about that? Hey, Rich, why don't you give the Statue of Liberty your coat? <laughs> if I look right on it. You're so stupid you can't fucking go into a movie theater and steal one off the back of somebody's seat. You're a fucking chooch. <laughs> You'd rather freeze to if death than think fucking... About putting I learned that from Midnight Cowboy, here. by the way. That is a good one. Remember Rico Ratso? Mm, uh, Rico Ratso. Nice new coat. <laughs> yeah. He's making you paranoid, you dummy. <laughs> you stole this. Don't even think about it. I don't want to He's making you paranoid. All right. Your fucking coat ready? has rabies. <laughs> All right. Well, there's little, little rabbit duties in the pocket. <laughs> really? It's made out of rabbit assholes. That's how they got it so cheap. It's the hair around the rabbit assholes. <laughs> you get Lyme tick disease from the hood. <laughs> Why are you protecting your coat, you weirdo? They take the rabbit assholes out with a conductor's punch. Why are you hiding one your coat? Jacket there's no out of pimps them. around here. <laughs> there's so much going on. They don't even have to kill the rabbits for those jackets. They just no. pull their assholes out. They just stun them. Asshole hair. That's wonderful. <laughs> Asshole. What are you doing? What are you doing? What is wrong with you? What are you going to wipe your ass with a rabbit fur? <laughs> I should. Yeah, motherfucker. Come back over here. He's hiding his coat. A faggy fucking coat. That that's, a, that's a terrific coat. <laughs> it's like roadkill yeah. with a zipper. <laughs> it looks like Maury's wig. Oh, shit. What happened? Oh, no. Don't what up? Oh, oh shit! Oh, he just got up. What does Opie have? Like, I guess, I get, yeah, I gave him some the big jar of fucking tomato sauce. Oh, oh, you wouldn't do that, would you? Oh, oh wow, good lag. Oh, I used no. to be a bartender. Yeah. <laughs> I could have gone right off the end. Is he gonna do that? I have no idea. I don't think he would, but you never know. You ever try to get rag goo out of a squirrel? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, you actually. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Rich now has put his rabbit jacket in a plastic Just garbage throw bag. It this way. Oh, give me that. Where it belongs. <laughs> <laughs> that jacket is found in an appropriate home. <laughs> yeah, really. He could get in with us. <laughs> Bunch of fucking children. How do you fucking. This show is amazing. Austin. <laughs> You, you show you got a jar of sauce out of nowhere. <laughs> what the fuck kind of magicians are you people? Yeah, we're the unbelievable. Go, I need a pound of portobello mushrooms. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. How are you gonna distract him when he comes to sit down? Yeah. Somebody go, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Something shiny. Yeah, some. <laughs> Here we go. I got the bell and my whistle. Yeah. All right, listen. <laughs> That's what I. Where'd you get that? I don't I'm know. Get my wife one for Christmas. Somebody. <laughs> when my prick goes down. <laughs> yeah. You need good sound effect when you can't get a rod. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry, honey. Sorry, honey. Quack, quack. Well, look at her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 
Is he coming back I'm in or what? I'm that on stage. <laughs> Where's Buzz? He said he had to go to the bathroom. safe place. We we'll just get back in and just broadcast. I, why? You don't need. Please hide your jacket. No one's gonna throw a fucking sauce on you. Yeah, no one's gonna. Really? Sake. Yeah, be real. Be real waste, for a second, Rich. No one's gonna waste ruin. a good marinara. Let me tell you something. Yeah. A marinara. A marinara. <laughs> My mother rest in peace. She made the best rabbit sweat jacket pie. <laughs> she put marinara uh, and a little bit of gravy and mayo. God rest her soul. You <laughs> top it off with some regal. <laughs> yeah, and a little bit of avocadillo bread. <laughs> bread from the old country. Ah, oh, the way they made it back in the old country. That's I remember. Right. Right. At the days, we, 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 we never could get a good rabbit coat here in the States. That's right. Because everyone wearing one was murdered in a pointless vendetta. They were all just shot down over honor. But now, oh, oh my mother, God rest her soul, she made the best rabbit coat. Uh, she leave the oh. zipper in. Yeah. She leave the zipper in for flavor. God bless my but, mother. She made oh, really? shoes into hats. Yeah. How about the mustard? That's where the flavor is in the zipper. Yeah, yeah, the flavor. Some people take it off. They, you got to leave it in there. You want this too? And then you come back no. in? I'm not. Listen to me. Listen. I know for on. a laugh. You're violent. You're violent. And you're... In, you're, you're first of all, you're violent. <laughs> <laughs> Come back in. I don't know why that one Which one? Uh, shit. He's got gravy, mustard. He wants to make a salad shit. out of my beautiful coat. Oh. I waited all spring and all spring and summer well, to wear this. No one is gonna touch your dumb coat. Rich, get <laughs> back in here. And I get, listen, you've never needed me in the studio this bad. Yeah, that's true. Okay. We, you could have ended it as uh, we never need to do in the right. studio. <laughs> <laughs> Brewer. Okay. Uh, we're we still we we got you on the air. We're still doing our show. Nice, dude. You know how frustrating it is to be listening in the mornings and wanting to call and I don't have a fucking hotline. Well, you got oh, my uh, personal phone. I do, but I need a uh, I need a hotline. I need a hotline. Get on the hotline. I'm going nuts because soon as I drop off the kids. Uh, like 8.15, that's all I got until 9. Nice. So miss, miss the mom. In the car. We want you to come by tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last show of the year. We're trying to get you in here. Uh, I think I could do that. What time, though? God, the morning sucks. What time? <laughs> uh, four in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah. Well, any time between 6 and 11, so you, you decide. Christ. I, I'll do my best. I'm sick right now, too, bro. Uh, so unless you want to get all diseased up, oh hell no! Your, man. That's on your back. No, Jim, what, listen, what do you got? I, this is Norton. My immune system laughs at the flu. You got the. F <laughs> 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 you, you got. It's unidentified. <laughs> no. It starts in a snot box. Who knows? It could be fucking cancer for all I know. Oh. Oh, God, oh, that's, that's not good. Uh, Come on, hey. How's your show doing, man? I've done your show a couple times, but only with Pete. You were on the road both times. I know. Each time you came out, I'm fucking around. When do you guys want to come on too with us? I mean, we're only we only got a couple of days, and I'm done with every day. Yeah, we want to do it like in studio, though. Listen to these two you know, people who don't want to do be like on each other's shows. Or, or before the year ends, before December thirtieth. Um, I what? think uh, yeah, December thirtieth is like the last day. Well, you're not doing every day, Jim. No. <laughs> oh, no. I want to get out there. I'm Jim. like the, the, the family guy now. Yeah, apparently you're like Mr. Dad and everything, and that's uh, that's your whole life, huh? Mr. Dad, it's over. That was the, the other days are over. That was oh, the... God, so I should have gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing though. Uh, I, I'm not getting anywhere near a fucking microphone until after New Year's, after tomorrow. Oh, no kidding. I am not fucking coming in to do anyone's show. Yeah, Jim, we, we de uh, desperately need a break. It's been a, it's been a, a long year. Sometimes. Yeah, we need to. I feel like I feel like uh, sometimes I listen, and no disrespect. Sometimes I listen, and I wanna. I feel like it's. Um, there's snow outside, and I'm the only moment of football. And if you're like calling, going, "Come on, man, fucking play!" Sit on the curb for it. Let's go. It's that everyday shit. I can tell. It's like hey, giving me a lot of body shots, a lot to the head. Yeah. I can hear you getting your asses kicked. Man. You, you know what? You know. You, you know what it is. Three week break. 
You know what it is? It's uh, see, you. I don't think you guys over there understand it as much because you you were on the side that won the Cold War. <laughs> you know, we're we're on the other side where you know it was X. Oh, right, see, right, Sirius, right, right, right. Sirius is the United States. Yeah. XM yeah. was Russia. Yeah. We were Russia, so no, we, we have to come over here and be like, ah, I opened up hot dog cock. <laughs> I used to be the brain surgeon back in Russia. Now I uh, run a uh, uh, cart and sell donut in morning. Uh, uh, that's what. That's the position we are. We're second class citizens. <laughs> yeah, we lost all our boys. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we, we, we have lost no our juice. people. We have no juice. Russia, try Japan. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got a brand shot to uh, Switzerland. Two bright lights. <laughs> exactly. Two bright lights and a lot of shadows on the fucking wall. Of Burst. Ex, ex employees gone. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> no more that Negro, uh, the Patrice. Uh, I no like him no more. He's just terrible things about the white people. But besides that, Show, huh? <laughs> yeah. What? Jim, did something happen with you and Patrice? Are you guys cool or what? Oh, no, no, he's cool. He called it. I saw him at Comics Come Home, and he was. I never saw that side of him. He was exhausting. He went on for four hours about. about. Uh, just about, you know, white people and black people and blah, blah, blah. It was, and he's determined. Not to listen. He's just determined. <laughs> it, it, it has nothing to do with he's right. It's just, I'm right. No matter what angle you hit him, <laughs> I'm right. he's going to sit there and then figure out why you're wrong. And so, he was so exhausting. So, uh, yeah, Adam Cohen, he got so mad at me on the radio. Because I was just going, you just need love. He's like, is that what I need, Bill? Fucking love? The fucking, I would have never known that's all I need. Fucking love! That's all I need! Thank you! I'm cured! Wait, now wait. Well, but, but, Jim, what was the tone? angry what was, guy right now. What was the tone on it? No, there's no thing. He's just really, he was, he was just fucking angry. I told him he looked, I told him he looked diseased on stage. He did. Holy shit. He's just ugly. He's got big, dark, ugly eyes up there. But he is but funny, though. From being mad. He don't even know what the fuck he's mad at. Oh my God. Wow! Also, I, I gotta I never say knew this. this was going on. Yeah, I didn't. I kind of heard briefly about it, but I got it. It's like when it comes to the racial thing, but especially with Obama getting elected, Patrice talks a lot about race. But I, I, I say this though, he always seems to back up his point, even if like you don't agree with him. He's always got an interesting angle on on race. We talk a lot about it on the show, and uh, yeah. e even when I don't agree with him, uh, the point he makes, he's always got some kind of a salient point, even if I don't agree with it. He just calls me a racist, and I agree with him, and uh, I'll problem and solved. And he's a racist. <laughs> yeah, of so course. What? And he's a racist, fuck? yeah. He just doesn't get called it. That's he's how it works. He's a separatist. And he wouldn't care if he did. Yeah, well, whatever. Exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. That's what I like about the But I, I, didn't, I, I didn't hear the... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> I don't even know where I am. Uh, it's yeah, wonderful. With some Parmesan. I, I just threw my hands up after 20 yeah, minutes. <laughs> You know, and he was also talking when we were back, uh, and when we were there, not in the studio, but at the, in Boston. I had, like, my niece there, and she's dating this kid, and I wanted to strangle the kid, because after a while, he's bound down to Patrice going, Well, you know, part of the problem is, like, our generation, because yeah. we don't know, like, no, no, I don't give in. Like, I don't know what this is. You're white and 22, and you're apologizing? Yeah. Ow. The guilty. friends like that too i would have to say every friend like that including me i'm right you're wrong <laughs> pretty much all of us go fuck yourself right? yeah. <laughs> but we, we had him on and we talked a lot about it, especially with the election and uh there was oh, points yeah. like that i i disagree with patrice on when it came to mccain or whatever and, and then he actually conceded he was like oh yeah okay that point i i, I was wrong about that so i Can mean you get that on tape well but i mean he was he was rational i mean i i didn't we agree and disagree about you know half and half yeah but i didn't hear you 
You're on one side of Alaska, and I'm on the other side of fucking, we are worlds apart. I was punching my radio, I'm like, it's not a fucking I know! I wanted to, oh, we should have had a political debate. You should have called in, and we'll get to the Oh, yeah. Brewer, you can't. Come in, in the high line. Come in tomorrow. I'll do my best, man. I swear to God. I, I'm All supposed right. to uh, <laughs> go to DHA because it's 10 minutes away and um, promote this club in Jersey. Oh, what a fucking fiasco that is. I'm yeah, like, we're, you're playing in. on... Stress Factory. Stress, oh, you're, oh, that's right. Vinny, uh, Stress Factory. 29th? January 29th? Yes, but there's... Yes, I'm doing the Stone the Pony. And I'm doing, uh, oh, hold on, Jim. Jim, this opening of a new club. We'll get it. We'll get it. Jim, December 29th. I said I said January. December 29th, the Stress yeah. Factory. Um, it's one night only. Jim usually goes in and does one night. It obviously is going to sell out. I'll tell you one night. Then there's this new club opening up January 15th. I thought it was like an hour away from Vinny's, and it's like, you know, three miles away. <laughs> well, walk slow. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, Vinny, it took like, me an hour to get there. I was like, I fucking hate these guys. They fucking, they call me out. They said I'm a douchebag. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where the hell are you? Yeah, we're in uh, Montana. Building. We're still in Howard's old studio, and then we got our own joint over here at XM. Oh, okay. serious XM. Where's that XM building? Well, we're going to lose this because um, we're going to. Yeah. Uh, we You're have... coming to the serious building? Yes. Yeah. 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 There's some nice studios there. Oh, no. Nah. Yeah, are, are they custom made? No. They're gonna, what are you kidding? They are actually. This, so a lot of people are going to have to find a new place to hang their coats. That's right. Because we'll be broadcasting <laughs> from that room. <laughs> if they knock down if they knock down four studios, then yeah, they ain't got enough room. <laughs> no, we're in a tiny little glass studio, and uh, it's going to affect our show, but we're trying to... But we're trying to be team players. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See the studio? Uh, it's going to be a small studio. We haven't worked in a small studio in uh, yeah. 10 to 12 years. That's what we do? Uh, it's a little bigger than what you got. Yeah, it's quite... I think where it would be. Across from Shady. Across from... Sh oh, yeah, that corner one. Yeah. yeah. Right next to the gay station. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah, we're going to be neighbors now. Can we, can we drill a hole in the wall? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gay station. Are we behind the station or in front of the station? <laughs> We're going to be, our neighbors are the gay station and Martha's store. Yeah. Unfortunately, my friend, I'm pretty sure you're in the uh, taking it position. That's right. fine. <laughs> um, that's perfect for us. <laughs> Martha Stewart, we're next to you, too. Um, all right, man. Uh, I'll, um... Look, Brewer doesn't like, want yeah, to be part of this. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, uh, you know, the JB Mets off. fan. What? You got the email? What email? You don't email me anymore. I don't know, you don't email me, fags. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what? You sent me an email about what? No, no, no. I said, do you have my email? Address? It's a fucking Abbott and Costello bit? Yeah. Get to the parents, you faulty as... Oh, yeah, I got your email. I'll send you... you yeah. All Who's right. on first? I'll email about the exact place tomorrow. <laughs> All right, I'll oh, do that. Slash. All right, bro. We got to leave, so... Go. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. We'll talk to you soon. December 29th, Stress Factory. Yeah. What do you think this has been? <laughs> I know it doesn't sound like it, but yeah. Are you really? I'm fucking retarded. Holy shit! Yeah, you're on. Why do you think we're all you're on a, on on the mic? Yeah. We oh oh, pop up on the on the mic because we we got you on. Yeah. What? I said that. that. I said all that right, at man. the beginning. How it going? All right, bye. Where's Bosco? Now he's gonna be like, oh, what did I say? Uh oh, oh, oh say Jesus! Awful. Now I. Uh, you know, no, that's why I asked about the Patrice thing. I wouldn't, I wouldn't ask about that in private. They had a Voss and everything. Voss. But I didn't ask you about it. Rich, Rich, what happened to Rich? Come what? on back Will in. You come we, in. We're closing the show. We're closing no. up. we got to do the plugs right. to get out of here. Uh, oh, Treehouse really? tree Newsy. Don't be a pussy. Rich. I am Jesus a pussy. Christ. I'm a pussy that wants to stay warm you without can, fucking No, your jacket is made on. out of pussy fur. Rich, bring your, <laughs> Rich, bring your coat in with you if you don't believe me. Come on. Oh, it really? Uh, yes. <laughs> How about a little really? trust for once? Really? Rich, really. 
Friendship is based on trust, Rich. Is he coming in? I'm trying to get him. His plugs aren't going to work because the mic's off. Oh, you t turned his mic off? Yeah. Man, Sam, you're good. Hurry up, because I want to leave right at 11. I'm not Yeah, I'm not enough. contracted to go past 11, so... He left. Voss does not want his jacket <laughs> getting stuff thrown on it. Hurry up, we got to end at 11. Well, Nick Voss, has got... we're not even going to stay, because I'm out of here at 11. Nick, what case do you have? <laughs> I have Caroline's January 1st through the 4th. If you go to nickdip.com for tickets and uh, pick up my new CD... Funny how, right? And my uh, I I had uh, the third show has been added for the Bogota January eighteenth. That's uh, the Saturday sold, Friday's almost sold, so that Sunday's available, and no one has to work the next day. So go to the Bogota dot com, right? Well, you can see me New Year's Eve at Crocodile Rock in Allentown. Oh. And watch me stand on stage <laughs> of the shittiest club name in history. Yeah, that is a bad one. And do 40 minutes on Elton John and how I hope he gets what we all know he's going to get. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Fucking worst a song bad ever. cold? <laughs> exactly. He sneezes and his head just rolls off. <laughs> Rich, come to the door at least. Uh, Rich, come to the door. He left. Yeah, he's gone. Richard left. He actually left. Yeah. He took his fucking rabbit fur coat. That coat and, meant a lot to him. And purse a book. Hightailed it out of here. He threatened fucking up that coat. He just got yeah. out. Ran into the briar patch. <laughs> oh, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Huh? Sorry for the literary reference, you retards. Welcome yeah. back. <laughs> he really left, left? Of course. Yeah, he was catching the elevator. What's wrong yeah. with him? All right. Well, if he's we, smart. <laughs> yeah, him. he's smart. <laughs> yeah. If we were going to stay past 11, it would have been brought to you by DirecTV. Call 888-961-DIRECTV. Uh, that's DirecTV, 888-961-DIRECTV. <clears throat> and we'll see you tomorrow for our last show of the yes. year. Yes. I filled my obligation. Big shindig. <laughs> what do we have tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> am I allowed to leave or am I in trouble? <laughs> you're you're going to be in trouble at 5, I'll tell you that yeah, much. Yeah, you got a meeting with the principal. Why? Yeah. I filled my obligation. It's like an office space with the flare. You know, exactly. there's a minimal Thank amount you, of flare you can wear, but <laughs> they would like you to wear more flare. <laughs> Not because you have to, but because you want to. Who do we have tomorrow? Oh, God. Tomorrow on the program? Sissy Spacek we have, and uh, Kevin James. <laughs> Why not say that? We have Basil T's coming in. Oh, the food. Oh, Big hit oh, with the listeners. Big, That's surprise, good. Surprise. Basil T's. What? And David yeah, Tell. us here. Tell. But more importantly, basil teas with making food, which mm. the listeners always love when we get to eat. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, because they could hear us chew during uh, the parts of the show where we're supposed to be funny. Yes. And we're actually going to do that uh, that anal beads thing. Oh, yeah. We have Shirley Jones <laughs> is going to come in, and we're going to insert multicolored anal beads into her hiney while Bonaduce goes into a roid rage and just kind of fucks her ear. <laughs> Knocks him out from the other side. Shirley Jones. <laughs> Punching her in the uterus. Yeah. Well, Dave Madden holds her down. <laughs> Mr. Is that Kincaid? Kincaid? Yes. Yeah. That's John Madden's brother, you know. Is it really? Yes, it is. Are you kidding? I swear to God. How could I so not a... have known that over all these years? I fucking had an inkling years ago. It, really? It, it, yeah, because they're voices. And sure enough, man, I was reading like a Sports Illustrated and it mentioned. Well, did he ever, did Ruben Kincaid ever explain how he got caught file trading with Jeffrey Jones and Pee Wee Herman? <laughs> he said it's only art. They're just frolicking. It's kitsch that art. Right? <laughs> That's what they call it. So Jeffrey Jones and uh, yeah. Pee Wee Herman. You know what it was? He was how really? Uh, Ruben Kincaid uh, was, was a pretty slender gentleman on uh, the Partridge family. And then did he, he disappeared up? after the Partridge family yeah. went off the air. Yeah. And then I remember a couple of years went by. And he showed up on some variety show in the seventies, one of these crap things. And he was fucking gigantic. Yeah, so to the point where, as a jeans. kid, I felt bad. I'm like, that isn't Reuben Kincaid. That isn't a Mr. Kincaid I remember. I was a kid. Change his last name to Arcade. Really, giant. A big fucking house. Yeah, yeah. So I guess you know he does have those uh, Madden jeans. Yeah, and, yeah. The oh. fucking Dave Madden, the Reuben Kincaid. Fatso. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get the fuck out of here, man. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to hang out either. My obligation is to 11.04.
I signed a different deal. I was going to say, what do you get, a different, <laughs> con, uh, different lawyer? Yes, than four Oprah? minutes. I have four minutes longer that I have to spend on the air. I actually signed until 11.45. Oh, my did God, did you get I'll screwed? Did you, Jimmy? No, no, I just rebel I'll and stay. leave early. Yes. I dare them to say shit. I leave at 11.04. <laughs> I dare you to say something. You can take those 41 minutes. Come on, talk slow. You're <laughs> supposed to stay at 11.45, really? No, I'm just What, are you kidding? <laughs> no. Huh? Jimmy, because I've been here where you guys ran it right up to noon time. Yeah, we've done that. Thank you. And they don't we remember those that days. Either. No, no, those they, 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 we don't get to bank those hours. <laughs> they don't work like that. You can't sandbag. No, back. no. You, you so I got my roll wife over for hours. Christmas right there. Some wood. Some wood. <laughs> logs. Uh, that's what I wanted for Christmas. <laughs> A few logs. Logs. <laughs> not a yule. yule. Tie. No, no, not of that variety. Kind of lay across your chest. Oh, the chest. Well, you know, maybe if you want to waste them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wow. That's cool. I'm Martha Stewart. I want to see her throw a trophy at the Yankees and say, shove it up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking hairdo. She does have a little tanner boil. <laughs> she certainly does. Jesus hey, Lupus. Christ. Nice try. Really? Oh, she bothers me. Mm. Right. Fuck's I like to fuck her hand. She has a nice hand. <laughs> I'm very attracted to Martha Stewart's hands. Make her put some flour on it first. Oh. Have your cum gel up on that sweater. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Just cutting uh, up an apple in my tuxedo shirt. Yeah, please cut Fucking yourself. Dink. Go ahead. How great would that be if his wrist just sliced and he continued cutting the <laughs> Granny Smith apple while bleeding into it? Find a note in the refrigerator. <laughs> 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 I can't go on working with this cunt. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait a minute. She, she has a show, doesn't she? Yeah, apparently. I'm just kidding. I was talking about the other friendship. Uh, of course. Julia Child. She was a fucking whore. She really was Julia Child. She was fucking, uh, she was known as the, uh, as the what? As the fucking... Power forward of cooks? Nah, she was the deep like dick six, queen. That was, that was the name. She wanted to be called Cooking with the Deep Dick Queen, and they're like, no one will buy that show, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> you, we know you're the deep dick queen. We know you prefer it dark and uncut. You've made that <laughs> preference known. You're talking about chocolate? We cannot call it cooking with Julia the deep dick queen. No one will tune in. <laughs> I was in an elevator with her in Cambridge, Mass. Really? Is, yeah. And you thought that was just a traveling basketball team? I no, really did. That was her entourage. I thought it was a Russian fucking national team was in town. <laughs> Look, a chocolate fist. Six foot eight. <laughs> First suck on the penis, get it very hard. Peel your skin back like a fruit roll. You clean the lint out and you rub pineapple around the head. You dust the taint with some corn flour and... <laughs> Uh, Make just, a nice fucking walnut casserole. Yes. You have to clean the inside of the sheath like it's a horse penis. <laughs> and you shove it into your own asshole and yell, ta-da! I like to put butter on my asshole, by the way. Loads butter, and loads of butter. I'm the deep dick queen, and you're cooking with me. Cut! <laughs> you're not going to shoehorn the name in. It's got to be called Bon Appetit. It's called Bon Appetit. The other one's too long. No one will buy fucking shirts that say cooking with the deep dick queen on there. <laughs> but I'm the queen of being deep dick. We understand the reference. We just don't agree with it. This is a cooking show. BBC does not stand for that. <laughs> we know you like big black cock over explain it, Jim. <laughs> uh, look, I'm making a stand. Right. I'm getting out of here. Oh, come on, guys. You two have fun. <laughs> It's I like really a it's like a dance marathon. I People know. leave. You know, uh, couples are giving in. <laughs> I'm collapsing on the floor. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. I, I have to. Uh, I I have to actually um do a little Christmas shopping. I'm supposed I've to been go negligent I've in done my none. duties. I've done, I've done none. none. I do it on the computer, man. They That's what I do, but now it's too late, right? It's too late now. Well, yeah, it's a little late. Nah, we'll see him anymore. I don't know. You're going to pay $41 for yeah, shipping. Yeah, the They'll shipping is, uh, you know, for a $5 item. <laughs> yeah. $43 shipping, please. I ordered something for my wife, and then they sent me an email confirming all the fucking shit, right? They have uh, my right street address. Fucking, but then it says Westbury, Long Island. with some. Oh, I go, how'd you do I filled it out, so how the fuck did you yeah. get that address? So I call, okay, we'll take care of it. Next morning, I get another email, fucking same wrong address. Yeah, call oh, back again. It'll I go there. The fuck is if it doesn't show up, I'm flying to Pennsylvania, wherever your, your shitty little company is, <laughs> and I'm going to fucking burn the fucking place down. At least you handled it. I <laughs> <laughs> A threatened arson because a fucking a sweater and mittens didn't arrive in time. <laughs> no, I got a free fucking oh, okay. hooded jacket out of it. All right. Heath and Plow. Yeah, we do have to. 
All right. Martha's going to rest her big wrinkled ass in that pot. <laughs> Take a big dump in there. Go ahead. Fill that thing with fucking... Look, tomorrow, uh, yes. Uh, tomorrow you get George our, our, Kirby. Our last day. It's like our last yes. little party day it is. for get, Christmas. And, and, and we and got Len Dawson and Flip Wilson. Yes, Flip Wilson will be coming into it. Here come the judge bit. We got David Tell, <laughs> and we're going we're gonna, to uh, wheel in Otis Redding's <laughs> coffin and dump him on the floor and sing Doc of the Bay while we kick his bones around. <laughs> It's a tribute to the 60s. It sounds like a fun-filled <laughs> really morning. I'm not Scott, a good wrestler. Didn't Scott and Todd already do that? Whatever the fuck shit. <laughs> no, they did it while he was alive, and Scott Shannon was in his 10th year of radio. <laughs> He's old. Uh, you guys are mean right till the end of the show. Oh, of course. That's what I like about you. All right. Where's Nick, Russ? thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Again, I uh, January 1st through what? January 1 through 4, Caroline's Comedy Caroline's Club. And Nick, Nick dot com. Funny how the new CD. Yes, pick it up at nickdip.com. Yeah. And Bye. we will uh, see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you.